Oh. 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 What do we do? <laughs> Hang on, let me recreate a classic Twitch emote. Oh, I think you've got to be a bit more, huh? No, I don't think your hands are up oh. by your mouth. Down a bit? <laughs> okay, well, we're not actually recreating <laughs> it. It just, the magic happened and we took a photo of it, okay? Yeah. Oh, maybe they are closer to your mouth than I thought. Just, just doing my thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hi. What did you do with her? Great question. Well, it was dinner time and I was hungry. I did. I have not eaten. You made a quesadilla. <laughs> a quesadilla. A quesadilla. I I have not eaten our fellow player, Kate. She is, as everybody out in Chatland may or well, actually not everybody. People may or may not know. Kate is currently working on a theatrical production, uh, which is fucking great. But the way that theater schedules usually work is that weekends there are afternoon shows. Yeah, she's so literally she's on her way. It's just we're we're. We're starting without her so yeah. that she can take the time that she needs. That's but she will be joining us. We will April Fools you from under the table, but that's generally in April. So According to this, four minutes before she arrives outside the building. Oh, oh fantastic. She may want some noms. Oh. She may want some bio time. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna ask a question here. And exactly. if you're here and you want to 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 come out and say it, we have oh, I'm very low. Alright. Am I that low? Thanks, Kirk. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Check. That should be a bit better, I think. Hmm. Do do. Um. Just because we we have been here, and I am curious. Who also does my mic sound better at this point? Yeah. Okay. Or mm. not. Ah, mm. interesting. Okay. Um, we have somebody here. Labyrinthist. It comes and goes. Interesting. What is? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the volume of it, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Let us um, know in the chat. Anyway, Labyrinthist. Do you? Do we know you under a different Twitch handle? <laughs> We have access to some back-end information here that, uh, you know, would would indicate that maybe you've seen the channel before, and we'd love to know if we know Interesting you. Interesting weirdness. That's very intriguing. Hmm. Let's see if that continues to be the case, because I can see that it's receiving my voice. Hmm. Yeah, hmm is right. <laughs> it's a mystery. Good. Great. Perfect. Um, mm. yeah, just, just curious if you also, if you want to remain anonymous by all means, go ahead. That's fine with me. Agreed. Uh, four of us have been here since the creation of the channel. Since Might even Dawn be where the OGs. Yeah, I thought you were going for Dawn of Time here. Oh, uh, well, you know, Exalt Switch Nexus episode one, or even the pre-streamed versions, like the pre-streamed episodes of Exalt Switch Nexus, those are... Those are a few years ago now, my friends. So, you know, it feels like the dawn of time. I would like to give a shout out to somebody who has been watching Exalt Witch Nexus uh, on our channel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Shannon, Shannon Tan 76. Thank you for watching and for all of your lovely comments. The most recent one uh, was shouting out John's portrayal of the, um, the Faye character. Oh. Rain After Storm. Rain After Storm. Yeah, Great name. very That's Alice right. in Wonderland. I am going to rip off some of those <laughs> characteristics the next time I portray a fae. And then I said, hey, did you know that we also did Changeling? And then, another. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Shannon Tan said, I have Changeling the streaming in my list to watch once I complete Exalt Witch. Okay. So by the time you get through that, and another couple you'll get to hear, and you'll see this long delayed shout out. So uh, shout out to you. Thumbs up for that shout out. As as a reminder, of course, because there's been some discussion in our Discord about it as well. If you're not caught up on Montreal by Moonlight, which is our current campaign that we're going to be playing tonight, Werewolf the Apocalypse Fifth Edition, you don't have to be. Not only do we do a recap of the previous episode, but I think we're all pretty good 
about like answering questions when they come up. And there's info boxes for the NPCs and the, you know, if you have questions, just ask. Maybe the mods. Well, the, the will chat answer. is incredible the chat contextualizing is moments and characters, too. So, I mean, thank you. Sometimes we're like really deep in a in a volcanic role play moment, you know. What is with you and volcanoes? You wake and up in a live game. volcano. What is with you and volcanoes and role playing games? I loved Vesuvius as a child. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's all? true. It's very true. I loved Vesuvius. She as did. A child. I, no. I, I I so not other volcanoes. Like no. Not St. Helens. Whatever. Who no. cares? No, that's a tragedy. Vesuvius. Fucking metal. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, my three sexual awakenings, the cartoon Fox Robin Hood, Tim Curry, all, just all of Tim Curry, and uh, Vesuvius, Mount Vesuvius. Sorry. That's it. Sorry, was it seeing a visualization of a volcano erupting that did it for you, or was it the <laughs> chart? Or, or was it the, the horrible carnage? What the fuck, Liz? You <laughs> sexual awakening. What were you uh, three sexual awakenings? There has to be three. There's point. always three, and they always contradict each other. I... I am I am actually very excited to answer this question. I am going to react. I'm going to push back on being put on the spot because I don't have that off the top of my head. I'm thinking back to all, Selma Hayek in Wild Wild West for sure. That's okay. very reasonable. I, I just I'm not it's in my it's in my brain, man. I, I got to tell have, you. I have not seen Wild Wild West. Okay. <gasps> Good for you. And I really don't think you should. <laughs> I mean, I love so many. It's not. It's, it's not a movie to watch as an adult for the first time. <laughs> I don't think it's a movie to watch today as anyone. <laughs> That's fair. Um, oh god, it's a good. Hmm. I'll I'll continue to think about it. I mean. I didn't mention the mummy, but like that's because it's a given for everyone who's ever existed, right? It's like, like point, yeah, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. I feel like that's a. Mm, the problem is that you. some of the things yeah. that I would mention. One of them is going to make me look say, awful. I'm so ready. but So I'm going to have to give it some context. I literally okay. said a volcano that <laughs> killed countless people. Yeah, but you were... So good. one of the things, unf for, for good or for ill, one of the things is quite related to yours. My, my we are requesting another mic check right, for you. everybody. So we'll Thanks find out me. about his his scandalous um, eruptions. <laughs> Surely. Oh, check. Good. One, two, three. Check. When I leaned closer, it got better. Well, I shouldn't have to lean like I shouldn't have to be breaking like, out with it. There, that's better. Okay. Thanks. Hundred percent. There we go. Um, one of them is Maid Marian from the same movie. Sure. You're goddamn that you're right. Talking to because she could dance. Uh, now it was only later on that I learned that, like that dance is also directly ripped off a different Disney movie. Well, they just, they reused it for the Aristocats. Yes. Duchess's dance. Oh, sorry, is that's very but I, right. of, I will uh, admit, I've never seen the Aristocrats. Well, you'd probably Aristocats. have the hots for Duchess. I don't because she that. danced like that fox dance. <laughs> but uh, those aren't anthropomorphized, are they? Not really. They they, they, on, they speak. Okay, well they speak, they but they don't have like no. They they walk around on all bodies. fours, but they dance on two legs. So they walk on all fours, but when they dance, That's they weird. stand up. Strange. I I didn't come up with the concept. But then still thinking about the it. second thing is Sailor Moon. The sure. reason why I have to put context around this is that I was younger than the Sailor Scouts yes, when I saw it. Actually, that is a good. Sorry, good, good. Because yeah. like I don't want I don't be known as the guy who's like. Yeah. yeah, but no, for sure. No, I was I was younger. You were five years old. That's uh, a good answer, actually, because I would say alternately Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury. You can also say the Pink Power Ranger. I, I, in fact, in fact, I was going to. You're welcome. Um, and the Yellow Power Ranger. That's fair enough. Uh, fair enough. The Power Rangers. No. It's like there's a movie with like an older sister from my childhood. It's like it's I don't know what it is right now, so I'll think about it, guys. I feel like I know who you're talking about. Yeah, probably. Is it one of the goofy Can movies? I spot? I don't think it's one of the goofy movies. No, 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 you don't understand. I've got a very specific character in mind. Eric would knows what I'm talking about. Fuck's sake, Liz. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello! Da -da -da -da. Whoa! Hi, Kate. Kate! One Kate. Plus one Kate. Welcome, Brendo. I understand that it's the end of the week, and so everyone's like, I'll throw all my costumes into the laundry but i'm also like i i, I want to go home <laughs> no please i only want to wash the things that why need does washing. everyone have things that have to be hung up that's so much slower than just throwing it in the dryer and pressing the button damn it really people i thought you were damn it high fashion 
I'm trying to gonna... think of what my third one is, and I, it's I, I don't remember where it's from. All I remember is that it involved a librarian wearing a pencil skirt. So the mummy, which is already I, covered I mean, in glass. I know specifically that I have not seen the mummy, except that night that we watched it. Too. That was the mummy. We were not. Yes. Oh, got, like the latter half the... of it. Oh fuck, you're right. All right, fair enough. We're ready, Kung Fu Fenris. This is why he's straight. Also, he just hasn't seen the mummy. <laughs> Ah, Exo oh, switching that's sides. very good. Switching sides. That's really good. Uh, <laughs> quick, quick shout out. This is why I'm <laughs> the only reason. Every Here generation has one, okay? <laughs> uh, quick shout out. Hi to Vancouver by Night. Um, I'm not a Hot Pockets fan, but I will allow us being collectively referred to as Hot Pockets. Yeah. Because that's hilarious. We're hot, hot and we pockets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. I have real pockets. Most of my hand. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, oh, uh, no, no, it stops. Yeah. You can see it stops, that you know, sucks. for my watch, but you know. Okay. How them nugs? I will find out soon. Fair enough. I, I really am curious what she'll think of these nugs. It looks like they have some. I assume season. they're all mine. Salt and pepper. I assume whatever's left is mine. Uh, that's as good an assumption as any. <laughs> well, Not for me. That's, that was the intention. Awesome. You don't have to eat them all, <laughs> but we will. I must. MK Jen oh, and Gold Knight. Right. You mean Xenia on a top? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Fantastic choice. Yeah, these are actually. Yeah. These are choice. Oh, oh. Lucy Lawless. Yeah, we're talking about our sexual awakening. Our threes. Oh, that's what I thought oh. you were going to come in and read us. Now, the thing is, if you're uncomfortable about revealing your sexual awakenings, that's fine. But there's a very special way in which we make sure that people know that you're uncomfortable about re well, revealing your I'm sexual happy awakenings. To do it, Kate, if you want to know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, <laughs> means by which we can communicate such things. Uh, we have cards you don't. We'll get to your tools in a moment. But we've got these. What do they mean? Um, the green card, also known as the play card, indicates that despite any outward appearance, I am good to continue with whatever's happening in game. The pause card, however, indicates that you need to give folks at the table a heads up about something um, that they need to take into advisement before gameplay can resume. The red card, also known as the stop card, is a complete interruption of game. You drop out of character. In our case, we'll go to a be right back screen. It's an opportunity for people to discuss person to person to come to a resolution whereby everyone at the table feels safe to continue. Mm -hmm. You don't have these cards, but you do have tools. Uh, option one, you can whisper RPG Clinic. We'll see that on our screen. Option two, you can whisper one of our wonderful mods. I see that we have Kung Fu Fenris in chat. Do we also have her? Oh, amazing. We've got two moderators. You can tell who they are by the green sword next to their name. Um, they're happy to take your information anonymously, should you so choose. And of course, um, we can't always necessarily change what's going on. We'd rather you prioritize your safety. So if you need to, you always have the option to leave chat and or the stream. Don't want to see you go. Do want to see you safe. Mm -hmm. Thank it's you. very true. And thank you. Uh, yeah, it's Kate. Okay. Quick shout out as well, just because I saw you drop in there. Toast is the per I have, I have. Thank, mm. you. thank you so much. I saw Toast drop in. Uh, Toast is the person I was referring to, who in Discord was like, oh man, how quickly can I catch up? And I was like, it doesn't fucking matter. Just get your butt in here. I see you got your butt in here, Toast. You got your toast in here. Nice. Well, I'm also butt. going to give a very specific shout out, if I may, oh. to Ikorin. Okay. Who, in one of his most recent videos that he posted about yeah. players discovering themselves through roleplay, included background, like B roll clips of LARPs and of our safety demonstration. Oh, that's lovely. That's Ikorin. I didn't know that. Thank you, Well, Now I gotta watch that video. Yeah, I'll, I. Well, we should link the video. We should. We link really should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we'll like a story. mutual friend of ours that was like, "Is that you?" Because they're doing research it it? for their own RPG stuff. So. Mm. It really hurts to be so famous. Like it's a heavy burden to bear, and yet, mm -hmm. um, you wear it proudly. You wear it well. Are we doing like um? Sorry, there's a a color palette thing happening across here. Oh, sorry. I'm wearing a green. No, no, I'm wearing a green jacket over a black shirt. Then Liz is wearing like denim over the same green as this jacket. Not quite, I guess. It's pretty similar. And I'm wearing that and color black. of denim. Whoa! Oh, oh, and a black shirt, and then John's wearing a black jacket. Yeah, I never wear this. No, exactly. Yeah, oh. what, how did you decide? What's a twist? What a twist. And I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> it's always true. True. 
<laughs> Remember, folks, streamers <laughs> don't wear pants. I can see the cows. Hot. It's true. Uh, I'm not going to look. <laughs> so, first off, just want to say, we're, we, we vamped a little bit because Kate had to <laughs> muscle her way in here. So, I'm also just going to toss up one of these. Uh, if anybody, I'm not naming any names, needs a moment to decompress and it's just like, hey, focus on somebody else for now, you totally can do that. I am cool with that. Even if it's just focus on someone else, I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, totally. Thank you. Oats. Ooh, very, very fall, cool. very autumn, very demure, very mindful. True. It's true. It's unbelievable i can finally say it's fall why is it so damn hot and now it'll be <laughs> hey! do we know if it's supposed to stay it's not supposed to like it's supposed to actually be quite a bit nicer it's few yeah. weeks um I was moving some wood out in the yard today and i was like no this is the right temperature for this we're not i'm not so sweaty were you wearing flannel no i was saving that for you <laughs> oh excuse me <laughs> What is Mabon? Mabon. Is, Autumn's like, it's is. the season of me. <laughs> Congratulations, Autumn. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Black Widow, age, age of, of me. me. Thanks for the follow. Whoa. Nom, nom, the capital is drunk on mead. Mm. Fenders, I feel like you live in this like perpetual state of like hur hurricane, like like yeah. just chaos. Vikings running by, like splitting people's heads open and just like carrying people. Like, or literally off. on a pirate ship. Or on a pirate apparently ship. steering and and <laughs> conducting. That's not how you do it. Sailing. Sailing <laughs> yourself. There you go. Yeah. Oh, like uh, conducting a ship. Link. Oh, very nice. Link. Long. Windmaker. <laughs> Lorky. 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 The Wind Waker. The Fart Joke. The Wind Waker. Shonk. Shonk. God, I look. You think Shonk? No. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. No it's Shonk. The speculation. No it's Shonk. the hero of time. Shonk is the hero of time? Yeah. What are you, the hero of spending experience? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. Y'all saw when I showed up, so. Yeah. Um, so no, it, I'm yes. no, I'm uh, oh, well, I was gonna say, no excuses. No excuses for us. I didn't wanna. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Liz. I was thinking about Tim Curry and Vesuvius. Tim Curry. Can you imagine if he did? Oh my <laughs> god. Right right. Have you have you nicknamed any part of yourself Pompeii? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that would be the that would be taking it like one step, I think. <laughs> well, too, too much. I quite like it though. It's far too much. Brennan Lee and yeah. again, <laughs> What was that? For? Brennan Lee Mulligan does a pretty good Tim Curry impression. Oh God! I feel like he's I cannot. I cannot handle that. Just saying. Do you say I should order a cameo from Brennan Lee Mulligan? No, I should for your birthday, Elizabeth. Get it together. Well, what would you want Brennan Lee Mulligan to say? You want uh, him to say something as Tim Curry? Today? Yes. Something about Jesus. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Probably <sighs> something about Vesuvius. Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> you don't. This has nothing to do with you. Is I'm the one doing it. Huh? Is he even on Cameo? You probably, said, probably. You said Brennan was. I mean, I assume. It's just an assumption. Uh, I, would, anyway. I bet he could charge a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. even. Speaking of pretty pennies, safety is free. No. <laughs> we just <laughs> safety is free. Yeah, we just keep cycling. Yeah. That'd be good. That is Robert. one of our marathon goals, is just to have to do the safety demonstration whenever someone forever yeah whenever there's a good segue yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we are we are still tangentially thinking about what we could do for a marathon and there's a few things a few surprises that we mm. would really like to do but we we want to make sure that we figure them out and yeah do them properly and like you know have a good reason for hosting a marathon and a good time for it and uh, all those things we've had a lot of fun doing marathons in the past so we'd like to do another one but, but we could go with a recap for now. Yeah, learn about yeah. the past. The pack healed their wounds overnight at Downstream as they awaited the last two Guru to get their complacency removed, Dew and Jennifer Slade. After each met with Cleves the Lie, the pack questioned and prodded them to ensure they were ready for the rite of Cairn building ahead. In the weeks that followed, the pack learned from Vincent that a body, possibly Code 902, was processed and cremated in a manner similar to Umbatu. Dante learned the rite of Cairn building from Site of Seven and prepared for Code 902's gathering for the departed, 
but decided against consulting with Stag about their deal before the rite was to begin. Troyan roamed Mount Royal to know the battlefield before the big day and had a heart-to-heart -heart with Juan. And Macris enlisted the other Ragabash to learn the location of the Black Spiral Dancer Hive. A boom. Thanks, Osa. <laughs> so we're a, little, the year. we're a little late starting, but oh. not too late starting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, Aragorn, did you did you also need to throw out? A, you know, everybody goes to hell. I know that you missed it. Or your sexual awakenings, whatever. We can all people in the chat. I, I don't know if I necessarily want. It. Yeah, maybe I don't want to open that can of worms. <clears throat> Hell yeah, toast. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's the that's the tweet. <laughs> it's it's dissing Scott. That's the sexual oh. awakening. <laughs> <laughs> if I was still on on X, I would I'd probably be reverting to like a. Just, you know, random little... Did you just words. call it X? Did, yeah. How fucking dare. He Sorry. dead names his own child. I will dead name his fucking platform. I like that. Go to it's hell, tough. everyone. When he stops hey. dead naming his own fucking child, I will call it X. No, Until then, it's Twitter. Yeah. Good shit. Sorry. No, no. Hot there. taken here. <laughs> ETS. Oh God. No dying. What does ETS stand for? Everyone thanks Scoots. <laughs> oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Everyone, thanks, Scoot. Bromley Humps. We don't know what the B stands for. <clears throat> Nobody knows. Bazoongas. It's. I mean, it is not. <laughs> yeah. Famously, I think we all know. My <laughs> lovely Bromley Humps. Oh, my love. Check them out. Check them out. Here I go. <laughs> Going to clap these cakes together for you. Whoa! <laughs> ah! I love it. Nice. Oh, I think we have a new marathon goal, which is that if we achieve a certain level, we can just hear Brahms' dirty talk. I, I'll do any song in any character, like that. Not you know, not infinite combinations thereof, but like pick one. I volunteer as foley artist <laughs> for this because I feel like we have some cement blocks that I can sort of clang together like. Co oh. <laughs> Just two bags full of gravel and just like I can do the light show. Why do you think we're like this? I mean, we are like this. But why do you, why do you think, think so? so? Yeah, good answer. Uh, uh, yay. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to hear my dirty talk? Ow! It hurts. Ah! Ow! You're so heavy. Ah, I can't breathe. Oh no. Oh, but he's oh. so strong. He's got that forearm strength. Was that what it was like, Sophia? Were you getting it on as a dragon and squishing poor Kyoko? Scoosh. Uh, I used my core strength to sort of do a bit of this. Dragons don't know how to plank. That attitude. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of like T-Rexes that way. <laughs> little scrawny arms. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that well, happened. Yep. Good. Uh, any questions before we start? Nope. Why are we like this? <laughs> That's a very good. That hasn't one. been answered, and it never will. It never will. Stop asking. I'm just drawing Otherwise, attention to no. it. Oh, Aragon wants to test something. Ooh. It's my reaction time. You should be excited. You can test something. Yeah, yeah sure, Aragon. We're we're all going to anticipate what this could possibly mean. Oh, it so, had to come on! I have to fix it. You need to put a two at the moment. Mm. It's on the to-do list. Got it. I'm I can't. Arg. I can't go to hell, Eric. When I'm I'm already there. Oh, oh. look at that! <coughs> oh. Shit! No, oh, it worked. I've never been to hell on this thing before. I was never mentioned. I like it. Now I now I have been. <laughs> We've crossed a line. Ah. 
Grr. Creek cannot be uncrossed. I guess this means that from now on, um, every single Black Spiral dancer in the game is just going to have to spend experience. Every game, so that I don't go to hell. Eric, you did this. <laughs> Sluey said the same thing. Gwen, Gwen did it. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good thing to keep in mind. You're learning. You're not just learning in terms of gaining experience and spending those points to get more dots on your sheets. You're also learning about the universe that surrounds you, about what it means to be Guru, about the fight to save Gaia, about the way to avert an apocalypse, about your enemies and your friends and your friends who may or may not be enemies. But don't think for a second that you're the only ones who are learning. Storytellers also have to learn. They have to pay attention to their players. They have to figure out what, what makes their players tick, what makes them happy, what gives them that emotional drive to continue playing. How do you maximize the story? But part of what you're also doing is making sure that the enemies are learning as well. After all, it would be unfair if you could react to any situation, but your enemies were always set on a course. One of the issues for pre-generated adventures is that that's often what happens. The enemies have a set course and they can't deviate from it because it's a book. Your enemies are not quite so inflexible. <clears throat> so while you think about your enemies and while you think about what you might have to do to prepare for them, just know this, they change. They change from session to session, from moment to moment thinking, learning from you. And maybe you can manipulate that. The Rite of Karen building is coming up, but there are some things that have to happen first. Dante? Yeah, we're holding a gathering for the departed. Code 902. At downstream, there is no set, you know, guest list or invitation. It is obviously extended to all those who have known him, but there's no expectation for those to come out who do not want to be a part of the rite. It's set to happen at downstream. Um, Dante has been spending some time preparing for it and speaking to just finding odd moments to speak to the various denizens of downstream because he wants to be sure that they feel up for the task of aiding in the right. Now, when you say up to, what do you mean? I mean, knowing that there is also the right of Cairn building coming up, that they feel that they're ready to, they're ready to fight for this the memory of code 902 in whatever way they think is appropriate and the right of Karen building but they have the chutzpah but they have this inner strength you know it's maybe also subtly a challenge it <laughs> maybe some might interpret that as insulting okay if you're coming up like are you up to it yeah I'm not like step let's go step out to the streets you know I'm not Step, if you up step up to, to the streets. Sorry, stepped up to Jesus colon, fucking Christ. Sorry, sorry. I was obviously having my sexual awakening for other things at the time, so it's my apologies. Step up to the streets is where you had your sexual awakening. No, no, no famously it wasn't exactly. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Simultaneously. At the same exact moment. Um, yeah. Th there's not going to be anybody at downstream who's going to resist attending a gathering for the departed. Uh, this does mean, though, that you are now officially announcing that he's dead. Yeah. Which you hadn't. Correct. Done. Yeah. How are you breaking the news? I mean, I guess the only way Dante knows how. A uh, big website <laughs> with uh... <Big> email. <laughs> No BCC. <laughs> a mass email. 
that's one of those shitty it. web old web thing yeah. with like a bunch of yeah comic it's like this text. link or you will forward to 10 people or you will be Shut. next <laughs> oh my god he's actually dead though <laughs> oh, okay. God, okay all right sorry john to answer your question uh, you know without putting too fine a point on it obviously person to person guru to guru as all, as 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 much as possible Okay. <clears throat> Makes sense. Uh, I will point out that uh, Step Up to the Streets was 2008. Oh. And if you were having your sexual awakening elsewhere, I like to suggest that it might have been the movie Good Dick. <laughs> I, is that a real movie? Yes. Okay. Um, it was theater school. Mm. It, it could also have been The Dark Knight. Everyone in those movement clothes. Sharing massage trains. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, that, yeah, that one. I sure. will. I will fight you, sir. Oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. We know it's it's Kung Fu Panda. Uh, I have no comment at this time. Mamma Mia. The Dark Knight. There we go again. Iron. Here Man. we go. Again. Oh, it was Talk Wally. It was the Chronicles of Narnia. Twilight. It's Caspian. It was Twilight. Okay. I mean. Okay. Twilight came out that year? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in Twilight. Okay. There are actors in that and in um, Narnia that I think are very attractive. But let's talk. There are... Uh, so, there are only two Guru from uh, Weathered Storm that specifically say that they desire to attend. Um, the rest of them are polite. It's not about like, oh, we don't want to be there. It's more, we have a lot of stuff that we have to do and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that, you know, we're, we've prepared our things correctly. Um, Hannah's Sight of Seven is one of them. That's nice. The other is Do. Mm. That makes sense to me as well. You can't... Uh, Oh, actually, there's one person who I want to know if you specifically approach. Yeah. Dusk. Oh, fuck. I, uh... <clears throat> I'll point out that this is a question to all three of I you. I think so, eh? I, I seem to recall that, uh, that she is, of course, not a, not a, not outcast specifically from the society, but, like, <clears throat> she's, she has to atone. So no, no, I don't approach her. And it's not as a slight. Like, it's not... But it's just because she's doing her own thing. Frankly, we shouldn't even know where she is. But we do. Because of Theo. So... Uh, uh, yeah, it's Theo. Yeah. Because Slade followed her, but not to, all the way and to then Theo the college. The right. Place, yeah. right. The place. So no. They, good, good shout, though, John. I... Forgotten. Hmm. But I, neither of you specifically approach anyone else. Terrain's very happy to say that this is not her wheelhouse. <laughs> not my circus, not my monkeys? Yeah, it's just like that yeah. she has absolutely no stake in whether Dusk reunites with her family or her uh, sept at all. Damn. What about Macris? <laughs> Barely knew Code 902. So, like, no involvement in... Like, yeah. She barely knew him. Mm -hmm. No chance to. Doesn't feel like it would make sense for her to be involved in the situation. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. All right. So, when did you want this right to occur? Um. I mean, you know. Right. <laughs> Do you need me to pick a date? <laughs> no. E evening? <laughs> no, but you you were intending for it to occur during the evening. Yeah. You're intending it to occur before the Rite of Cairn building. Yes. Um, you said that you wanted it specifically to be under a crescent moon, although we're going to fudge that because <laughs> technically that would be impossible. But, I think so too. That was my thought, yeah. But right. we're just going to... Okay. But we'll let it go. But... Uh, On the night, you're doing it at downstream, mm -hmm. or are you doing it like outside, or are you doing it in the cairn itself? Uh, we're we're meeting people outside of the cairn, overlooking the water. Uh, Dante is 
prepare like he will be bringing people back to downstream but we're we're having the the beginnings of the gathering there okay uh, yeah looking out over the water in the basin i'm going to ask for you to roll me your manipulation subterfuge please i'm gonna heal my oh yeah yeah um by I the way uh, all things should be healed so macros you also have one superficial <laughs> health that you don't need to have um yeah i'm gonna ask you to roll your manipulation subterfuge for the other two this is your opportunity to roll against scott's character if you wish uh, sure is it like a wind sight? Great. Yep. <clears throat> Maybe you saw that. Uh, no, I did not. Good. Then you don't know how many successes. No, I'm just waiting for Dante to blow all of his willpower. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do better. I want to do better. Actually, I could. I, mm, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about your pool for this. Six successes. Five. Whoop! I got three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so knowing that how are you feeling going into the gathering uh want desperately looking for peace closure hoping to put it behind him knowing that taking action bringing people in the cairn together this is a great opportunity to do that so feeling focused feeling anxious feeling ready to have it to have to close a chapter in his life okay so those things people are going to filter in now downstream everybody can show up after all that's uh they don't have to worry about defending their own cairn if it's going to be taking place at that cairn mm -hmm. cleaves the lie is no longer staying at downstream unless right. for some reason you asked him to, but I don't think you were intended. Slade and dude no. like carried him out basically. Yeah, right? they took him away. Yeah. So they've all come back since, I guess. Uh, well, you haven't seen Cleves unless you've decided to go out and find him. We okay. have not. Because cool. he's not going, he w He has not been to either Cairn since you saw him last. Okay. Great. Okay. Makes sense. But the following people do arrive. So. Everyone from downstream, so that's apotheosis, any percent. Uh, packet loss is also there, despite not knowing Code 902 personally. Uh, and to the moon. Do and Anna arrive together. And there's still this kind of moment of, this is a weird place for us to be, but they... Don't try to make that too awkward. But just before it's time to start, before, you know, everybody's supposed to move forward, uh, there's one other figure who's approaching the cairn. Uh, wearing a... Uh, a blanket around their shoulders. Um, the blanket is... It's... One of those, you know, those um, reflective blankets that you'll see. Oh yeah, like a safety mm -hmm. or a emergency blanket. It's one of those. Mm. Um, and when you look up, it's Juan. She nods to you, but otherwise just heads straight inside. Okay. Um. I'm not going to, Dante isn't going to, you know, change everything, but he's obviously, he wants to make sure that Tuan is doing okay, and we'll try to check in with her. Do you when he stop can. her before she goes inside? Um, yeah, I guess I would just, sort of, yeah, gently kind of <laughs> trip. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Are you okay? No, I gently, yeah, step, step in front of her just to sort of quickly check in. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're here. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm glad you could make it. Is everything okay? Everything else? I'd have liked to have him for this. I get the feeling like he would have 
thought up something really nasty, but really useful. It's all right. There were cairns built without him before. I'm sure there'll be cairns built without him in the future. We're all part of a great cycle of works being built and destroyed. We participate in some of it, not all of it. It's the nature of what we do and who we are. Thank you for doing this for him. I owe it to him and I owe it to me. And I went to this place. When she goes inside, though, she stands pretty close to Troyan. <clears throat> like, I don't know whether you two are trying to stand together, like, in the back or peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bar. Like, I don't think either of them have any desire to say anything. So, the present, we're supporting through our presence, but we're not. Participants. The only present required is your presence. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's cute. So it, when Juan approaches, uh, Troy just gives her a little a little nod of greeting. Have you done anything to the interior? Put up like black balloons or <laughs> a big sign that says "Sorry, you're dead." Look, crepe paper. Crepe paper. No, I mean, look, it's it's been tidied it's been the lights are low green sabers are all gandalf not. it's decorated for halloween so there's skeletons all over the place uh, it's like ooh, actually in hindsight this is really <laughs> poor taste <laughs> god. Do, 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 do. yeah oh my god um i feel like there's like a a small kind of like uh bowl of candles sorry it sounds silly um there's like there is a small warm kind of light source that's like meant to mimic a campfire okay. near the center of the room. The warmth of it. Um, and Dante's kind of like maybe trying to psych himself up and jams his hands in his pockets and <clears throat> starts making mm. words for your pack mate. <laughs> oh. He looks like he's getting ready to start the the right the gathering. Thanks, Mac. He got this. Thanks. Good on you for taking this on. I feel like someone should. It should be me. Trojan almost says knock him dead and then <laughs> realizes that's not good, so it doesn't. I love that use of inner monologue. Knock him alive. Knock him out. Go get him, Tiger. Thanks, Macris. Remember that for comedians, the ultimate goal is to kill. But if he doesn't work out, then what you are doing is you're dying up there. Look, before every show, the cast circles up and says, fuck him in the heart. So, fuck him right in the heart. I... Fuck Did him in the heart in the is heart a pretty good him? guru name. It, actually, though, write that. Someone write that down. <laughs> Hang on, I have a new character. I'd like to introduce them to this right. Go ahead. I'm gonna step up and just sort of invite everyone who wants to to draw closer to this little bowl of candlelight. Um, Dante takes a, a big breath and then looks up at the ceiling to where the stars would be would they, were they outside and then at everyone who's gathered it's a it's a gathering a meeting our purpose today in this moment at this point in time is to remember and honor the memory of a fallen soldier of Gaia. Code 902. A disturbance in the tunnel. I don't want you all to just stand there and listen to me forever and ever. 
I'm going to be asking people if they want to share memories of him. And it will become clear to what end. If you'd rather write them down, and he gestures to like some pens and paper and a couple of tablets set up with note keeping apps, if they prefer. Does the thing play Fortnite? Shut the. <laughs> Who is that? Look, what are you doing? Oh, also, sorry. Quick time out. Zach should there. be here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, did you invite him? I yes. Okay, then yes, Zach will be here. I have not seen that kid in fucking forever. <laughs> Holy shit! That's... Woo. Um. Okay, great. Zach should be here. <clears throat> you all know that I, as Guru, it's hard for us to contain our lifeblood, our rage. Sometimes it's directed at our enemies, sometimes at our friends, sometimes at those who teach us or learn from us. There's no dishonor in saying that Code 902 didn't see eye to eye. Often, perhaps ever. But I learned from him. He learned from me. There are two things I want to say of Code 902. I remember shortly after my first change, I was trying to make sense of the world that I could see and the world that I knew now existed, had always just existed outside of my senses. Code 902 was the first to bring me into the Umbra. The first to take me there, the first to show me a world beside this one. He taught me a very valuable lesson that day. Code 902 showed me something beautiful, impressive, and awe-inspiring. Thinking Engine. The, the ley lines of the city running beneath it. And near the end of our visit, he asked me what had made the greatest impression. I told him that about the lights, about the sounds, about the power, about the feeling of feeling connected across the world. And he said, but I bet you didn't see Rat, did you? I had, I had overlooked some small spirit close to the ground, deep underground, maybe. One thing that I think he always wanted to do, he was a very secretive warrior the urge. But I believe he was dedicated to those spirits who were always overlooked. Those who wish they had perhaps a greater voice and a greater presence. And he was generous enough to give of himself. Uh, Dante seems like ready to say something more about generosity and, and doesn't. And then he forges ahead anyway. Like I said, we didn't see eye to eye. For a whole for a whole host of reasons. I couldn't understand him. But I believe that what I have learned from him is to never be blind to what is in front of you, behind you or what you believe is beneath you. That's what I've learned from Code 902. Um, he, he's seemingly been maybe holding his breath through trying to do this, as, not literally, but like, there's been a tension in him through this whole time. He lets out a big breath, like just, uh, just you know, and then takes another deep breath. Tonight, 
We are here to remember him, to remember his mission. Whatever it was, Code 902 was always in search of something. And so are we all. We're in search for a way towards a better future. A way free from the apocalypse. I believe here at Downstream we are going to build that future. Whatever it looks like. I don't know yet. But I think we'll all know it when we see it. I want you all to tell me or write your memories of him. Whatever you think you've learned from him. And we are collectively... And here he looks at Apotheosis. He looks at any percent. We're going to create a memory of him. A living memory. A daemon to guard this place. To respond to disturbances in the tunnels. Apotheosis, by the way, is wearing a uh, augmented reality headset Fuck yeah. over her eyes. Awesome. Um, and she has her hands out in front of her, and it looks like she's twitching her fingers in response to what you're saying in some kind of weird way of typing. Okay. But you can't see what she sees. Of course. Dante makes a... Sorry, there's a corner of Dante's brain that makes a mental note to, like, you know try to look as cool as apotheosis sometime you know but that's that's obviously puts it from his mind challenge impossible <laughs> achievement ready <laughs> i guess ultra rare achievement. ultra ultra rare achievement zero, yeah. one, zero, one, one glances players. up to troyan <laughs> as if unsure of what to do is there something you want to share Is it even my place? Of course it is. The floor is open. And you're here. She takes the blanket off of her shoulders and folds it very precisely in half and again and again, following the original lines on which the blanket must have been originally mm. folded for it to fit inside a small pack. Yeah. He made pie. It was his thing that pissed me off the most about him. I, I never understood why he thought he could take that much time. You can buy a pie. You can buy the shells for a pie. But he insisted on doing it all by hand himself. What kind of soldier of Gaia needs to take that amount of time just to make a dessert? Thing is that he often didn't eat his own pies. He used to cut them each into eight slices exactly. And when he'd go out, that's what he would bribe everybody with. Pie. What a stupid, stupid man. And it was because he said that if he was going to give anybody pie, then they deserved to have the best pie they could get. You could get information from some of these people just by asking them without any reward at all. But it was important to him. And he always carried one of these. And she shows the blanket. Mm. And you know, I don't think he ever actually handed one out because he always convinced somebody if they were too cold that there was a better place to go. But he had one, just in case he couldn't. I don't know how much that made him a warrior of Gaia. But he was a decent guy. He was a decent guy. 
She puts the blanket on the table next to the candles and the notes and the tablets. Mm-hmm. Uh, Troyan goes to put her arm around her shoulders, if she allows it. She does. Gesture of comfort. Gain plus one relationship status with Juan. Shit, it's that easy? <laughs> I, I run around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put my hand on her shoulder, too. <laughs> I just start touching everyone in the... Okay. Oh, my God. No, no, no. You have to know which thing each one likes. You have to check the way. Right. I have a really nice rock, and I feel like... Zach okay. approaches uh, you, Macris. Hey, just... Hey, at, when this is over, I need to talk to you. Okay? Just don't tell anybody else. Thanks. You, you can tell your pack. Uh, that's that's okay. Just it's important. Do uh, just looks up. One of the weirdest parts about having a gathering for the departed for a prick is that clearly everybody here still thought that he was worth a damn, or we wouldn't be here. He was a prick. He was our prick in ways that I think that we, especially those that weathered storm, forgot. We spent three years avoiding him, thinking that he'd wronged us, and it turns out he didn't. We never got the chance to apologize to him for that. Wherever his spirit ends up, I hope it can hear our cries, our howls, of regret. It's what I wished he'd have known. And he sits back down. To the moon steps up. Sits there, kind of goes back and forth on their heels. I don't really know what to tell all of you. Other than... This place... Exists in no small part because of him. I never knew whether he fully bought into the mission. But he helped. I don't think he was a prick. I just think he was different in a lot of ways and he didn't really know how to find others who would feel the same way unless he was out there on the streets not my scene (laughs) but I can respect the game and then they step back I, I I never really knew him that well um but I can tell you that he was somebody who recognized when things went bad. And he'd do something about it. That, 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 that's all I gotta say. Hannah shoots a very deliberate look at Dante for a second before... I don't know if I like this way of remembering somebody who's dead. But I don't think he would have liked it either, and therefore I think I like this. It's important, because being on our toes is so much better than us accepting reality. I wouldn't want to fuck with any tunnels he's protecting. And then, then she steps back. Pa- pa- pack of loss, by the way, is electing not to speak. Cool. <clears throat> um, Dante just like watches Slate of Seven sit back down. Maybe this isn't how he would want things done. And yeah, maybe that's part of what this is all about. I'm trying not to sugarcoat the truth, which is that 
but enough of us have already said it out loud. I didn't like him. I didn't like the guy. And I know now at least part of the reason for that is because he was never here. He was never really here. He was always somewhere else. And I can go in circles forever about whether that's my fault, whether that's his fault, whether that's just circumstance. It doesn't matter. What I'm taking away from this is that I don't ever want to not be here. He, like, makes eye contact with everyone in the cairn who is okay to have eye contact with. And maybe. who currently doesn't have, like, a big... And who doesn't have a giant front of her eyes. AR thing. <laughs> yeah, you try. He, he goes on... No, just kidding. Apotheosis uh, removes or slides the headset up. Gatherings for the departed aren't for the dead. They're for the living. And we can send his spirit on its way. We can hope that they will reach the hunting grounds or wherever bonars go. We can hope that his legendary spirit will live on. But in reality, this is for us. He was a complicated man. It's possible that every one of us here owes at least part of their life to him. And it's possible that he's managed to take away days or years of our lives just from stress. I knew him. I knew that he loved to have somebody look at something in a different way. But not in the way of a ragabash. Just that they would understand that there was a layer underneath. I watched him convince a grizzled old man that there was a spirit in the rocks he was kicking along the street. And he didn't do it for any other reason other than he could. He never spoke to that man again, as far as I know. Got no information from him, won no reward. Code 902 was never about the reward. He will stay in our tunnels. He will protect us. I'll need a few moments. But then you will have to add your code to mine. And yours. No, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I almost have seconded. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I had your code to mine. Oh. Meow. Genetic code. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think... <laughs> okay. Well, that was not for a test. That's all right. As... Apotheosis continues to, to finish up and as any percent joins her at a terminal to add his it's they're doing the thing, you know, where like they're both typing, typing on the same He's typing on the same key. Yeah, so they're yeah, hacking no, they're twice not doing as fast. That. Okay, yeah. But do let's add a low drone. Oh, it's not going to be picked up by this microphone, so I'm not going to try. Okay. But uh, let's add a low drone, and then is eventually going to throw his head back and howl. And his howl isn't one of mourning. It's a challenge, a warning. Code 902 is coming. And Hannah picks up the howl as well. Then to the moon. Any of you? Yeah. 
yeah, Dante, once there are a few voices, he joins in. He's no Galliard, but his howl is one of grief and, like, missed opportunity. And anger. And a lot of rage. Troy and howls, too. It's... There isn't a lot of emotion to it. It's it's to lend her voice to the other voices. Which is a perfectly legitimate thing to do. Macris as well. Uh, the loss of someone who contributed in their own way. The last two people to engage in the hell, Apotheosis even during the coding adds her voice, although it's quite similar to uh, Macris's howl as well, um, for whatever that's worth. Mm. But uh, the last two to join in, Juan is the second to last. And her howl is muted, kind of like Troyan's. I don't know other than to just add my voice. But as the howls start to die down, they inevitably must. Zach's the last one to pick one up. And his howl is a message. I'm going to ask all of you to roll your composure occult my man <laughs> not Macris's best pool nope. uh -oh. brutal outcome brutal outcome not yet we're not here yet thank goodness sorry I'm just gonna re-roll a couple of these uh, fuckos here I really want to know because I would like to know. Okay. Yeah. Two. Two. And three. The message that you can decipher from his howl <clears throat> a loyal guardian of rat approaches. Accept him with honor and grace. Nice. Apotheosis puts the headset back up on her forehead and turns to Dante. It's ready for your executive command. You'll have to go to see Thinking Engine. Dante, you can bring one person with you to witness. No more. Um, he nods and in understanding, taking a bit of a shaky breath. He's he's deliberately glancing around at all of the people who are assembled to see if there's any like big shiny wet eyes of like not pick me, but like I mean, there's, I need there's to a go. few there's a few copies of big shiny tunes in the uh, <laughs> holy shit CDs. We would. Big shiny the, tunes five. We would. Uh, is, that, is that the best one? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Definitively, I say. Oh, three says. Oh shit. Uh, if there's no one who's like, who Dante immediately understands, they need to go on this journey. Uh, he is going to take a step towards Zach, our good little man, our good little man Zach. Me, join me. Okay. No one seems to contest this choice. But you will go to the Umbra. Don't bother rolling. You're, you're just going to go. Um, <laughs> you get caught in the Umbra, you die. Yeah, yeah. that's the dice. Everybody thing. has to start a new... Hooray! Well, we're already gathered, so another... Yeah. Gathering pour one out for Dante, I guess, yeah. But you've now presented yourself in front of Thinking Engine. Mm -hmm. The screens are lit. It 
it's so weird here. <laughs> yeah, but you can see why it would have been impressive. What do you mean, would have? Oh, well, right, sure. the beating heart at the center of the umbra one of them at least this multi-hearted beast of a play this is what the heart of a cairn looks like do they all look like some kind of strange cyberpunk no i guess that's silly isn't it yeah yeah dante gives him a wink just the cool ones i'm kidding no the heart of a cairn reflects what that cairn exists to do, what it stands for. What we're going to be doing at Weathered Storm will potentially remake it, certainly on this side, will be remade in a different in a different vision. So you have to do something? I have to do something, yeah. Then you should, and I'll watch. Thank you. Now I need someone to sing of Code 902's rebirth. One day. Uh, Dante approaches the central terminal of uh, Thinking Engine, and you know, approaches it with dignity and reverence, that's the word I was looking for. Thinking Engine. It's been some time. I'm very happy to be here again. With you. Tonight we are remembering one of our fallen soldiers. Query. Do you steal his spirit, or merely the memories of him, to guard these places? Merely the memories. By putting them together, we have created him anew. It is not simply a facsimile of his spirit. Query. Are all Guru simply a mixture of memory? When a guru is alive, they are alight with rage and the fight for Gaia. When they have passed on, perhaps they can still fight from the beyond. I don't know. But for me, for us, they become what we remember them as. Your offering is accepted. Input root password. Dante, um, maybe wipes, might be wipes away a little, a little, you know, a little grime from his face, aka a little tear from his eye. Oh, As yeah, I, I wouldn't have caught that. Right, right. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, look at him. Uh, as he, as he, uh, approaches the King Engine and types in the password execute command question mark why so for the ones who are not currently in the umbra everybody's sort of there's this moment of what do we do Apotheos is to know what's happening but the lights <laughs> dim slightly not like a power flicker but like a deliberate year and then they come back up. Apotheosis looks up and says, that's it. His memory's here now. Whether he wants it or not. Command accepted. Zack tilts his head like, that's it? Not everything is necessarily quite so flashy. Some memories live deep inside you. 
going to just take something to bring them out. Can you bring me home? I... I don't belong here. Why not? Why do you think you don't belong here? I used to think you were so cool. I still do. Hmm? But I'm not a glass walker. I... I see this place as a place of rules. Hmm. You define things here. We build. You call it building. And I respect that. But I'm not sure I see the same thing you do. That's our strength. We all see things a little different. Still. When you're ready to join a tribe, I hope you'll tell us. If you could take me home, please. Uh, yeah, Dante approaches him, lays a hand on his shoulder, and they turn back towards where they came from, where the umbra kind of parts as they, I don't know, twists. It like does a little cool twisty thing as they step out. Like turning a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Apotheosis nods to Dante when he returns. You'll need to close it out. <clears throat> yes. Um, he steps back up to the bowl of candles. <laughs> we remembered. We howled. We created. That's what this place is for me. That's what his memory is for me as well. Way to create a new future. We're going to continue this. Thank you all for coming. And like, without any more ceremony, uh, he takes a second bowl and like places it on top of the first, which extinguishes all of the candles. Just like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> There's um there's soup. We we made soup for anybody who would like to have some soup. Uh it was his favorite, um, except for pie, but none of us are very good at making pies, so we thought soup would be the best alternative. It's in the kitchen if you want. But Zach makes a beeline to Macris. Want some fresh air? Yes. Please. I just will step outside with him. So as you step outside, uh, there is someone else who is outside the cairn who has not come in. Uh, you see Slade. Ah, uh, Yennefer. Out there. Uh, he's got a brown paper bag in one hand. Um, and is looking out over the water. Does not seem to notice you as you come out. Zach is instantly like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Do we have to? His gesture is the opposite direction and Zach hits. walks the fuck away. Zach hits in that way. They skulk away. <laughs> Macris, um, have you ever been into the heart of this cairn? Yes. It's creepy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about computers myself or how they work, but... Yeah, I guess spiders and all that. This cairn thing that's going to happen, it's supposed to be pretty dangerous, right? So they say. I need some advice. Sure. 
sure. I want to join a tribe before before the right. Makes sense. You've been one of us for a little while. You've had a chance to see all kinds of different perspectives. I'm not a glasswalker. Fair. <laughs> You're important with, with a phone in your hand. I, 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 he, look, Dante's cool. I, oh, I'm not going to be defensive if you don't pick any of our tribes. Oh, that's it. I, I have two tribes and I don't know which one to pick. I think they both sort of apply and that's what I wanted to talk to you. I swear to everything. <laughs> If you say Cult of Fenris and Spiral Dancer, you will lose your head. Were they options? <laughs> Good. <laughs> They're <laughs> options if you want to die. <laughs> They're options if you want to die. No, I, I, don't, I don't think that's... No. I've spent a lot of time trying to learn from a lot of different people. <laughs> Uh, one of the tribes I was thinking about was yours what appeals I like the idea that you can go and find what you need anywhere that there's always going to be somebody somebody who can help you that you can help them. I like... I like sticking up for the little guy because for so long I was the little guy. Not just a sometimes food, though. Do you think you could always be there for the little guy? Or do you have your own needs that you'd want to put first? Doesn't everybody have their own needs? Sure. Don't you? Yeah. What's option two? Silent Strider. <laughs> Have you traveled much? I mean, I was I was part of the Model UN. You was. It's a form of travel. But that's theoretical. Do you find yourself drawn to other places? Other lifestyles? Other cultures? I feel like sometimes I'm ready to say the thing that no one else wants to hear. With putting your Galliard gifts to good use? There are Galliards who will just sing the stories that people want to hear. You could be one that sings what needs to be heard. I I tend to try to go ahead to figure out what needs to be done and then I I wait and I every time I've been in a group of you I've always wanted to be the one to s shout out that the thing that nobody wants to hear and It's hard, you know? Like, it feels like I'm signing up for something that I can't... I, I, But I don't want to die without having had the chance. I do not want you to die in this process, but I cannot pretend that participating doesn't run that risk. I mean, like, we're all gonna die. Someday, yes. That's how things work. I thought I could be a Black Fury at one point, but I don't have the same kind of rage that Troyan does. I thought I could maybe even... No, I, I don't think I have it in me to be a Silver Fang. I'm not that tight. <laughs> Look, 
You don't have to stick to one forever. What? It's not, you know, a common thing. We don't all switch tribes whenever we get bored. But it's not impossible. I feel like it's, it's unheard of. I feel like it's important for me to make a good choice here though. Yeah. But if you make one and you find out that it really doesn't fit, that's not who you are. You aren't stuck that way forever. I spoke for a long time with um listens to her heart. Sure. When? After she took that moniker? No. Before. When I was spending a lot of time here at Downstream. Yeah. She was in bed. I tried to keep her company. She had a lot of information about what it's like to be a Galliard, and man, she's, she had weird things to say about pretty much everybody in this city. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like... So, Schroeder Galliard to me. You know the dish all over town. The tea? Is that what? I'm not. Perhaps. <laughs> Peter T? Different. Uh, Peter T. Peter T. Peter T. Always Peter T. I. I just don't know. I can't ask her anymore. I don't know where she is. And maybe it would be the wrong choice anyway. So if you have any advice, I'd appreciate it. I just don't know who else to ask. Every tribe seems cool in its own way. Every tribe seems completely ridiculous in its own way. Hey. None... Nothing's perfect. But I knew. I resisted briefly because it didn't seem cool, but I am who I am, and Bonar sits right with me. I want to get, get down to the nitty gritty. I want to work a problem until I've gotten to the core. And I want to make sure that our endeavors don't leave others behind. But I don't mind staying in one place for a real long time. I will wait out a problem if I need to. As much as parts of me, the, the wolf within me wants to bite, sometimes you just have to sit. Mm. Uh, and gnaw. Oh boy. Troyan, what are you doing? Uh, Troyan has put herself on drink duty. And she's got a little bowl of soup. She's eating the soup, pouring some drinks. What kind of soup is it? It is a. Gazpacho. I hate oh, gazpacho. Yeah. Well, well, I guess it's raw tomato. Yeah, that would that would be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate poison. <laughs> How dare you feed me this? Says local man uh, with scandalous to the moon Comes up, orders a uh, a cosmopolitan. Orders. <laughs> I like it. It's a little out of character for you. She does start to prepare it. It's a weird day. Fair enough. Slade's outside, you know. Hasn't come in. Hasn't asked to come in. Ah. I'm not making it your problem. I just thought maybe you should know. Appreciate it. The soup isn't even warm. No, that's its thing. Yeah, it's fucking gross, is what it is. Was this his favorite soup? Probably. I mean, he liked not needing a microwave. Break something. <laughs> Fuck this guy. 
Just, you're uh, dead and you're making me eat chili soup? <laughs> Uh, Troyan puts extra effort into the Cosmopolitan as if that will make up for the soup. The best damn Cosmo of her entire life she's ever made. Ever. And passes it over to them. This doesn't make me any less of a person. Drink whatever the fuck you want. No. I can't afford to do that. I left that life behind a long time ago. Come to the bar, and I'll make you whatever you want. The drink that you order, everybody pegs you the instant that you have that. You say that it's out of character for me. I've just never seen you drink it before. If I came in here and I ordered uh, Long Island iced tea, sex on the beach, fuzzy navel, you think that think that I would project the same image? I think I've been pouring drinks for long enough to know what you drink is and who you are. It's just your mood. It's not that complicated. You try telling that to a bunch of crypto bros when they invite you over and they try to pass off their Pabst Blue Ribbon. I keep my interaction with crypto bros to a bare minimum. See, I can't afford to do that. But I appreciate... I appreciate the Cosmo anyway. Welcome. And they head out. Or not out, but away. Troyan pours uh, two uh, lowball glasses of gin. Neat. And heads outside. Trains the one stalking the bar at Downstream, right? Oh, yeah. Certainly every nobody else has. Every, like, like every time she shows up, every time she shows up, she's bringing more. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, crypto bros aren't real. They can't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah, yeah, crypto bros are uh, When you head out, Slade is there still, uh, has a bottle. You recognize from the neck of the bottle uh, that what she has is probably something like Grey Goose. Or a generic trying to pass itself off as Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Troyan brought Hendrix over because she's fancy like that. So um, she offers one glass. How did it go? I think as well as it could have, considering I don't know how many people in there actually liked him. Guru aren't very good at making or keeping friends. Do you think that's because we're all just afraid of losing people? Probably. Or is it because we're all such dickheads? Probably. Yeah. So why'd you show up? You didn't come in? I don't have that many friends inside. Thing is, I know that Code 902 every once in a while knew how to pop claws and go to town. I respected that about him. And I treated him pretty shitty for the past three years, so I felt like I should come here and pay my respects anyway. And she indicates there's like a puddle. Just been pouring one out. At her feet, yeah. Well, I'm sure he'd appreciate it in his own way. <laughs> He's dead. He appreciates nothing. Like this gin. It's good gin. But I guess that's expected coming from you. Hmm. What's your favorite food? If I tell you... You have to promise never to tell anyone else. Can't be that embarrassing. Bananas. Just bananas. It's pretty embarrassing. Bananas. Not. I fucking love bananas. Not banana bread or. A banana, banana pudding. Or but pie. I can take its peel off and I can put it in my mouth. 
so is it the taste or like the ritual of the whole thing? Because I wasn't allowed to have bananas when I was a kid. Why not? Sister was allergic to them. So we just never had them around. Huh. And then the first time I had a banana, it was so good. Troy, and that banana was perfect. Not a bruise on it. Firm. But the flesh was sweet. Now hi. By the way, when I see Dante next, I'm going to kill him. Why? Because he's sassing me about my love of bananas. <laughs> yeah, he is at the window, isn't he? Hi, Dante. You know what happens when you put potassium directly inside someone's anal <laughs> cavity? <laughs> Nothing good? <laughs> bananas. Noted. Why do you ask? We're all going to die in a week and a half. Why do you ask? Because I don't want to die without knowing what your favorite food is. Why? Because... Because it matters? No, it doesn't. And I think that's why I want to know. Because in a few minutes I'm going to talk to you about strategy and we're going to decide how we're going to keep the mountain safe during the right. And for just a second, I wanted to know something else about you. I like bananas. If you're asking me this, my favorite meal. Sure. Spaghetti, olive oil, garlic. Nothing fancy. That'll carb you up real fast. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do before the ride? Just a massive platter of... Aglio Yolio. That's tempting. <laughs> We're low. We're low on a rune. I know. It's you, me, and Juan, that's it. What do you need me to do? Those who are performing the rite are going to be vulnerable. It's not like they've got their hands tied behind their backs, but I'm led to understand that if you interrupt the rite for long enough, the whole thing comes crashing down. Which means that I either need somebody to be on the north side of the bond, the south side of the bond, or guarding right inside the cairn itself. Where are you going to be? I'm useless, close to ritualists. I have no patience for that sort of thing. Juan and I know the bond better than you. I'm going to need you in the cairn itself. Um. Thing is, that makes you reserve. You might have to start commanding people from the inside, which includes pulling ritualists if you need to. I'd rather that they try to get by with one or two and then the rest get to fend the cairn itself than for us to try to keep the ritual going with as many ritualists as possible and then be overwhelmed. Shit. Which means that it'll be up to you to figure out who you want to pull. Are you ready to make that call? I'll have to be. Good. I'll do it. I figured you were tough. They're not going to get to us, are they? Because that would mean they'd gotten through you. It's not that simple. We have a few different enemies that we're dealing with here. One, whoever these Project Twilight bastards are might show up. Two, Black Spiral Dancers, who almost certainly know what we're planning on doing, might decide to interfere. Three, whoever that face stealer is might decide to show up, whether or not they're in league with either of the other first two groups. Four, spirits who might show up to decide to disrupt Goose could show up from the Umbra without even passing through the Bond. Five, 
The humans who exist on the mountain may find that the wards that protect the cairn and the bond have fallen, in which case they'll take an interest. And they might not even be combatants, but they all have cell phones and they know how to use them. Six, there could be a traitor among us. Do I need to find more? No, that'll be fine. What if we could figure out where the spirals were lurking? What if we found their hive in advance? Would you recommend we attack it? Fuck no. Why not? Clearly we've been sharing the island for some time. As much as that makes my ovaries boil inside me. It means that there's peace here for at least a moment. We attack them, and that gives them every reason to violate that ceasefire and come after us when we're the most vulnerable. But we're inviting them to violate a ceasefire anyway just by having the ritual and being vulnerable. If, if they attack, attack us, first, if they attack us during the rite, yes, we are vulnerable, but it is still our territory and we know how to defend it. If we antagonize them, they will come. If we don't, there's a chance that they'll stay out of it. Well, then neither of us are allowed to die. Then we won't die. Because we're taking on the hive after. You and me. And whoever's left. Then we won't die. She holds up her glass of gin. Tink. Tink. Any percent approach. Oh, you know what? No. Hold on. First, do any of you need a break? I will get some water. Take a little bio brand. I think so. <laughs> uh, you all can consider what kind of bowl Dante's eating gazpacho at. Quick. Drinking out of a coffee mug. Grown. Freaking grown. Freaking grown. That's a lot of walking. <clears throat> that crazy liquid. No. Oh, he's <laughs> got a conveyor belt. He's got a gun. <laughs> you were a gun for a second. Ah, uh, thanks, moderators. It's a good. It's a good sign when your moderators think you're a little cray cray, isn't it? I think so. What bowl? What do you mean? Oh, a uh, gazpacho. What kind of bowl he's like? What kind of receptacle he's eating gazpacho out of? Dante. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> gazpacho. Wow. First of all, gazpacho is in fact a tomato soup. Mm -hmm. It is served cold. Mm -hmm. But gazpacho is, <clears throat> if I understand correctly, mm -hmm. um. Too. You puree mm -hmm. everything, yep. and then you chill it. There's no cooking involved at all, which means the gazpacho probably would fuck me up. Yes, good and proper. Pretty uh, good and proper, yeah. My mom has always liked it. I mean, she always, you know, she's always liked soups and stuff, but um, she always liked it. And I've always found the texture, like personally, quite off-putting because it's essentially a vegetable puree. Which is not a particularly nice texture to like soup is very smooth, right? Yeah. Very, you know? Or it's got a variety of to anyway, I find the uniform but like slightly chunky texture of it really off putting. That said, yeah, you know, the freshness of things like you know, red onion and you know, you know oregano and stuff, it's, it can be quite nice. Uh, but I don't think you're gonna find a lot of defenders of gazpacho in the chat. But will you defend Big Shiny Tunes 5? Oh my god, hit me up. See, I, I okay, I never owned a copy of any Big Shiny Tunes at all. I knew they existed, but like I wasn't that kid. Matchbox Maxbox <laughs> Matchbox 20's Bent. Matthew Goodband load me up. Three doors down Kryptonite. Well, it's already at top of the pops for me, but alright, go for it. Yeah. Why? Because of Kryptonite? Yeah, it's a great fucking song. Yeah. I, which I knew through rock band, of course. Well. Yeah, the problem is I like the song, but uh, the band now I, I don't like. Because oh. they're huge Trump supporters. Oh. Um, yeah. 
Stone Temple Pilots, Sour Girl. Yeah, sure. Bloodhound Gang, The Bad Touch. Really? Hmm. Treble Charger, American Psycho, Filter, Take a Picture, Everclear's Wonderful, Blink-182's Adam's Song. Okay. Uh, Limp Bizkit, Rearranged, Weedus, Teenage Dirtbag. Wow. Really? Red Hot Chili Peppers, Other Side, Sum 41, Makes No Difference, Deftones, Change, In the House of Flies, Disturbed Stupefy, J. Englishman Moore, Kid Rock Only God Knows Why, and Nickelback's Breathe. That's a that's a bunch of heavy hitters on there, actually. I kind of assumed it was like I don't know, I assumed it was a certain kind of like pop and or rock. Uh, but there's some there's some heavy hitters on that album actually. <laughs> You, uh, also, Osop has decided to make somehow make Espacho even worse for me. Even more deadly for John, which I love, by the way. Uh, well, not killing John, of course, but uh, that's yay, Osop. I think that sounds quite nice. Oh, those splasher. I can get a getting some water salt. Oh, oh you have a napkin. Yeah, don't do it. I'll get you. Brb. The did you put jumped out at me? Did you put the rest of the pizza away? No. Good. Okay. No. Because I'm gonna want some after game, and I don't want it to be cold. I mean, it'll be room temperature, but it won't be like fridge temperature. Um. So yeah, I. Osab ha- wants to add strawberries to gazpacho. Yeah. <laughs> that pizza thick. Um, so the pizza that I ordered today was from, of all places, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has, for some reason, at least here in Canada, suddenly become like the top of the big chain pizza places. In my opinion, like, sure, it's still like, look, a local slice from a local place is often like amazing. And don't get me wrong about that. But Pizza Hut specifically, compared to places like Domino's, uh, there's Canadians also know Pizza Pizza or Pizza Donini or uh, Double Pizza or three four three zero three four three Papa Papa John's Little Caesars. Um. Uh, Matrix, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Kill Bill. Those are your three sexual awakenings? What about each of those three were? There were hot people of both typical gender expressions in those films. Yes. Sorry, it was The Matrix, Pirates of the Caribbean, and what was Kill Bill. Kill Bill. I don't know, are there any hot dudes in Kill Bill? Yes, the mummy, but I was too young when I first saw it. And I didn't rewatch it until later. Um, I mean, there's like the crazy 88. I'm sure some, like some of them are attractive. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, their leader was that bald guy. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Bald guys can't be attractive. That's it. I mean, David Carradine's not a bad guy, I guess. But, like, it definitely has really hot women, which is the point for me. Well, I mean... Like... It has a lot of hot women. Kiddo versus L Driver in the camper. Or any she... Two fucking furious women. Super Weirdness, for me, it's just an allergy. Um, Michael Madsen is attractive, but is he attractive in that movie? <laughs> like he's well, kind he's, of a dirtbag. I mean, everyone's everyone's a dirtbag in those films. Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Oh man. I mean, everyone's a dirtbag in Reservoir Dogs. Sure. He has nice eyes, but yeah, he's he's mean. Weirdness, I, I cannot claim to be as weird as you. It is not part of my name. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
can I offer you an alternative to Big Shiny Tunes 5? You can try. Big Shiny Tunes 2. Yeah, I, was, I said 3, but I meant 2. Whoa. You're gonna have to look, but like, 5 is so my jam. The Prodigy Breathe, Blur's Song 2, Third Eye Blind, Semi Charmed Life, Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, <laughs> Sugar Ray Fly, Brand Ven 3000, Drinking in LA, Marilyn Manson, The Beautiful People, Holly McNarland, Numb, Bush Swallowed, Matchbox 20's Bush, Collective Souls, Precious Declaration, The Tea Party, Temptation, The Chemical Brothers, Block Rock and Beats, excellent track right there, Wide Mouth Mason, My Old Cell, Radiohead's Paranoid Android, The Age of Electric's Remote Control, and Stone Temple Pilots' Lady Picture Show. It's really oh, good. Wow. Really good. That's a pretty good. But five is also amazing. We were. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. No, in no way am I trying to say that Big Shiny Tunes Five is bad. Yeah, uh, I just, I really, yeah. Five's just got the ones that like really scratched my little, my head. little musical brain. Thank you, Otto. Like it has, Yay. it has Yay. kryptonite, Yay. and it has teenage dirtbag, mm -hmm. both of which do a lot of heavy lifting, along with American Psycho by Treble Charger, which I fucking loved. <laughs> Oh man. The time for a TikTok series where like we all each re-listen to one of the big shiny tunes every day and like review it. But like yes. you know, privately without each other and post them. Also has the, bl the bad touch <laughs> for, yeah. for you freaks out there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, this touch is so bad. <laughs> oh goodness. Bluey knows what I'm talking about. Damn. All right, shall we get back to this? Yeah. We just pretend this is soup. Uh, we'll go. You need a moment to chew. Mm -hmm. No, I can work. I can work. <laughs> mm. I just know that I gotta take care of this soon. So, if you were... Go with me for a second. If you were to be a driver, that was your life's work, would you rather run a tour bus for a band that's making positive waves in the world? Or would you rather be parking around a bottle of water? I, I don't understand trucking around a bottle of water. Bottled, like a, a whole, oh. like 16 meter of bottled water. Not just one bottle. That would be ridiculous. One of them sounds more fun. One of them sounds more like you're working for a corporate overlo overlord. What if you were somewhere in a desert? Somewhere with unsafe drinking water? Well, then that's necessary. So? I have to pick the one that's necessary. Silence Rider. That easy, eh? It's a litmus test. Insert the last scientific equivalent of litmus test. Macros would not use litmus <laughs> test. <laughs> it's a horoscope. Yeah, that... <laughs> Actually, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that yeah astrology kids <laughs> <laughs> then where's dusk like sorry physically <laughs> yeah knows um, we yeah yeah but, we all but it's a secret him. right yeah listens to her heart I can find out see I can find out where she is and by that I mean I know where she is but she's asked not to have that spread we can see if she'll talk to you thank you now if you wish you could find her yourself then you're back in Bonar territory I'm better at delivering messages thanks Macros, I appreciate it. Anytime, Zach. I'm 
mean, I, I don't think I'm going to get a name before we die, but I can at least be part of a tribe. Okay. I know you're still young <laughs> and prone to fits of depression and all that, but declaring that we're all going to die is uh, a bit defeatist. It's like you said, we're all going to die, just matter of how and when. Look, don't make me hurry you down the silenced rider path so that your job is to run the message somewhere else and be away from the danger. Cause I'll fucking do it. Yeah. Yeah. Snoop? Yeah. And then... It's a good soup, right? I don't know. Didn't hear before we left. And uh, Macris figures out the long, the whatever path has the least eyeline crossover with Slade. Takes the long way around. Mm -hmm. All the way behind the basin. Yeah. Well. I'm glad we had this little chat. Thanks for coming. Do you know him? Code Nano 2? Not well. And what I did see, I didn't like. <laughs> ah, that could describe all of us, couldn't it? There is one thing he did that I really appreciated. What's that? When everything was fractured between the two sets and the dancer was discovered here, he isolated himself. He went off, pulled himself away, and lashed out at anyone who tried to reach out to him. He claimed he couldn't trust anyone. Maybe he couldn't. Maybe. But... He taught me that I don't want to live like that. Even if that means I get duped. So, thanks, wherever you are. Do you think you can trust me? I think I'm choosing to trust you. Can you trust me? Yeah. I think I can. The gathering for the departed is over. People are basically like <clears throat> filing their way out. Yeah. Departing, if you will. Yeah. They gathered and now they're departing. Exactly, yeah. Hey. It's an aptly named right. What can I, what can I tell you? Dante's kind of, I, you know, he's perhaps lost in his own thoughts a little bit, but he's enjoying the soup and enjoying as much company as people will give him. Uh, I think... But he's he's making a point of trying to catch people as they leave, to just, to, just to say thank you. Not to be overly sentimental. One by one, they filter out. Is there anyone in particular that you need to speak to? Um, I think o only to say that, like, only to say a, a really kind of heartfelt thank you and, um, to make sure, oh shit, uh, and to make sure she knows that I'm feeling ready for the right of Cairn building is Hannah, side of seven, Hannah York, side of seven. She's actively I'm stealing, stealing the drinks from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Filling up her flask. Decanting and sweet. <laughs> Side of se we, we would just give you... It's not theft if you tell me about it. Now I have to get It's you. not theft if you're taking it from a cairn during a gathering for the departed. Nobody right. said there was a drink limit. It's true. <laughs> I bet you go to all the gatherings for the departed. All over town. Because there are so many of them. And a buffet. Yeah, exactly. 
You've got a week and a half. Rest up. Don't screw up. <laughs> We're gonna be ready. You'd better be. You better be. Do you think this is some sort of game? No. Not really. How have you assisted in seven rites of cairn building? No offense, that seems, frankly, impossible. It's my specialty. Surviving them? That's... Witnessing. I've participated. I have led the right. I have participated and assisted in the right. Make no mistake, it's dangerous, but it still manages to accomplish the goal. My record is good. Clearly. And so why is it so strange to you? You're just a tougher bag of bones than I thought you were. She turns and she's now having filled her bottle. Uh, I love it. Just smacks Dante in the on the back. Oh, okay. Uh, like, but like whatever. inappropriately hard. Not ah. like trying to hurt you. Definitely oh, sure. not like haha. But like, sort of like I'm trying to be friendly, but I kind of forgot that you ca can't just go like. Oh, oops. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm looking forward to being a witness and a participant to your aid. Wait, what is DAP? Dante and Apotheosis. Yeah, that was... Uh. I just, I want Sky and Macris, because then we can go, oh my! Macris, <laughs> <Your> Sky? <clears throat> Very short. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Like it. You won't be able to reach me for the next week and a half. It's the last day that I plan to be anywhere where anyone can find me. Okay. So if you have any questions, now's the time. I know there's plans for security going out. Are there any other people who will be actively assisting in the right? Someone yes. To defer to, in case. Defer to? What do you mean, defer to? In case something happens to you. Then it's you. Right. I didn't train you so that you could wet your pants and make <laughs> someone else do it. Not what I... <laughs> Fuck you. Obviously that's not what I meant. Maybe you had trained somebody else. I didn't know. Okay. You're f thoroughly aware of the litany? Are you... What do you think we don't learn about the litany here? You think we're just playing fucking games all day? Is that what this is about? Uh, yes, I'm aware of the litany. During the rite, I become the leader. I cannot be challenged, for it will be considered a time of war. If I were to fall, then it becomes you. You are the leader, and you are not to be challenged. When it comes to the matter of the rite itself, defense of the cairn will fall to the ranking Arun. That will be Jennifer Slade. And if she falls, it will become Juan. And if she falls, then it becomes Troyan. And if she falls, we're really fucked. No. And here she, like her bony little hand, reaches out and snatches down oh, the chin. It was a joke! Wrenches oh, huh. That is the last time that joke is made. Because as long as there's one of us standing, the cairn still stands. I don't go in for this fatalistic bullshit that some of us are going to die. Maybe it will happen, maybe it won't. 
But the people who decide that they're going to prepare for death usually find a way to meet that th- that goal somewhere along the lines. And I don't like it. You're not going to die. Nor are they. Nor am I. I gave you the knowledge that you possess right now out of an overabundance of caution, not a death wish. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Tough old Pegabones. He's he's smiling. Let's. He can't he can't? She lets him go. Stop himself. <laughs> he can't stop himself from this. Do you know how old I am? I actually have no idea. Good. She turns, takes a very long pull from her bottle as she starts walking away. Like, is she young enough to have sex with? Is she old? Like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. You can ask. I'm not. I will. Yeah, she's 18. Mary Gwen, I'm, I'm, I'm in that. I feel like she said mid 30s once, and it's like fucking impossible. Okay, sorry. Older or younger than Brom, bearing in mind he's 68 years old. Not true. <laughs> These things are not true. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's not gonna why don't you roll? Why don't oh, you roll? Oh, oh shit! Your he's... wits. Fuck. Okay. Oh my god. Where is there age? <laughs> medicine. Ooh. Yeah, How do we not have a dot in medicine? How wrinkly are her bones? Oh, the difficulty. Are... The difficulty oh, is not... is not very high here. Sure, that's fair. Oh yeah, right. Because I... Yeah. Choosing to roll it instead of just taking it. It's okay. Yeah. Jason DeRolo over here. Ew. <laughs> Jason DeRolo. <laughs> Two successes. I could have taken it. She's 30. <laughs> Why does she sound like she's 85? Because it makes her happy. Yeah, fair. It's a good point. Hitch her up a bit and it's Aragorn's puppet voice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was born that way. Maybe. It's she... not about the age, it's the mileage. <laughs> oh! Smoke. Sorry again about your car. Look, we have to talk. And your cousin. And your, no, no, no. Oh, do not talk about that. Fair enough. <laughs> Jason Dorolos. Uh, yes. Dante will let her go. Unless she wants to come back and, like, fucking fight some more or whatever. I don't know. Is there... Are you asking? Do you want to dance? No. I want you to go wherever you need to go. You know how to reach me. And I won't be able to reach you. And I'll see you in a week and a half. We're gonna fucking do this. Ah. Here, I thought you were going to say something else. And then she... Now she starts walking away. Dante does pull a face behind her back, for sure. An apotheosis comes up behind... God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) You're better at flirting than I am. I think I was, did you think I was flirting? You weren't? I don't think so. You called her an old bag of bones. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Great question. Do you always try to pick up women after a funeral? <laughs> I mean, such as you <laughs> I can't do it. Earth the next generation. Oh, God. Replace your losses. Hmm? (laughs) It's a generation. Oh. Sorry. How do you think our new Code 902 is doing? We'll find out. Right now, Thinking Engine is still compiling the code, and there will be bugs, and we'll have to deal with them when that time comes. <laughs> Just Comfort we'll Fender's trying to write. I'm sorry. It's going great. What? You don't think that I could have seen Seven Cares rise by age 30? That seems awfully prejudiced of you. 30 under 30. <laughs> Pretty impressive. All I know is that his name's Kung Fu Fenris, and that makes me interested. Uh Uh-oh. You're right. We're going to handle it when the time is right. (laughs) 
You don't have the sorry. You don't have the letters W A Y on your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also letters on his keyboard. No, any letters. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, you yeah, none. I have okay. letters. Yeah. Great, great, great. Oh, is it like one of those Uber keyboards? Those exist. Where you feel the ridges. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh yeah. I, I have plain keycaps. Nice. I have a whole set. If you wanted to, you could make your cool. keyboard have no legends at all. No, that's sweet. Cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm also not, not down. Oh. Where do I want that? Oh, okay, <laughs> Study responds oh to apotheosis. God. You're right. We're going to fix it. Whatever the problems are. And in a week and a half, a new challenge, a new opportunity. We're going to do something big. Are you ready? I have a week and a half. Is there anything you need to take care of in that time? I don't think so. Try not to overthink. That's up to you, Dante, if you can turn your brain off. Not really. Good luck. Thanks. Theosis and Dante? Yeah. Oh. I'd say rel relatively famously. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, oh, no, you were also having <laughs> I wasn't, sex at the time. I wasn't present. Oh, no, that you were also day. Sex at the time. Right, gotcha. Uh, what are we discussing? <laughs> Brian's asking. I couldn't remember if Dante and Apotheosis had ever actually had sex. You want to know whether I took a ride on his disco stick? Oh, is that? <laughs> we're going for that. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a reference. I was worried that I would not get the chance. I laid him down on my bed and I made sure to, to, to take what I wanted. Oh, I remember that. Should I go? <laughs> That's up to you, Dante. So, what are we talking about? <laughs> Hi, Matt, Chris. The soup's really growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting moldy. Ooh, it's growing on you. It's pretty. It looks pretty cool. Oh, why? I have a much earlier version of that keyboard. Thanks. It doesn't have the uh, the volume rocker. Bye. Yeah, all the keycaps are mm. are in there. I saved them. Nice. You gotta learn. You gotta learn what them keys do. Mm -hmm. What are you discussing? You, I assume that you came, you came back. I assume you've come back at this point. So now, for the first time this session, the three of you can talk. <laughs> hey, she Hello. does. She does extend an invite Hi, to Slade if she wants to. No. Come to the bar figures. Yeah, yeah. She comes back into the into downstream. Last time I was in that place, I got my brain wiped. I have no need to go oh, back. Oh, back to the bar, not into downstream. Like, oh, do you oh, want to meet me I back also, there afterwards? Yeah. Oh, that. I'll think about it. Depends. Are you a crier? You just had a funeral. Are you a crier? For this guy? Fuck no. Well, then he might see me. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Oh my He's god. Such a nice me. conversation. It was so nice. <laughs> Rage. Not even once. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Oh my god. Well done. <clears throat> uh, thanks. I don't have time for criers. So we can talk. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Tears are a sign of weakness. Dante wipes a little bit of dirt out of his eye again. Smears gazpacho. Smears gazpacho. There's some chili in it. It burns. Um, <laughs> now I, oh my god, really... this recipe. <laughs> Strawberries, chili. <laughs> what the hell's going on in there? Uh, there's a... Oh, not gonna go oh, there. No, no. Okay. I appreciate you two being here. Uh, it's obviously... 
we had a certain relationship with the guy and um, some sort of way of providing closure to the memory of him. I assume things. The right thing to do. I hope so. Um. Had a discussion about the defense while the ritual is going on, while mm. the right is being done. Uh, also got some perspective on the other piece of intel that you gathered. <laughs> there. HIV. You <laughs> told someone. No. I said, if we found it, should we prioritize attacking it? That still sounds like we told someone. I think we need some other perspectives. And how was the perspective? Perspective was that we should wait. I'm, I'm just going to say, you can choose to have Zach present for this conversation or not. Oh. Mm. He would have followed Macarus, but I'm not going to... Hey, guys. Yeah. He can, he I can think be off getting this, sick. yeah, let's say it, for this particular sick. moment, yes. Yeah. I'd be very happy to talk to him at some point. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. It feels strategic to strike first. So who else? Should we should we cap it there and then find out if news leaks and we know who our leak is? Or <laughs> do we keep pretending that there isn't a thing, but there's a thing? No, no, that's. I think, that, I think that's right. Keep telling people. No, no, I, I think this is. We cap it here. Why would anyone else? Once the right is finished, we'll be in a stronger position. We can go to war. Yeah, of course. We'll know. We'll know what our numbers are. We won't risk reducing our numbers for the care. We'll know what our numbers are, and if we need to get more backup or rest and recover or whatever, we can confront it full on without yeah. having to keep some people in reserve, yada, yada, yada. Exactly. Um, or just blow it up. <laughs> yeah. While the ride is being performed, I'm going to be right there in the middle of the can, which means if I need backup, it's my job to take ritual participants Mm -hmm. for that purpose so i thought maybe the three of us could decide or at least brainstorm who those people would be obviously not you you need to stay till the bitter end him or right she's the leader the right master if anything were to happen to her it would become me so i'm not pulling either of you correct yeah you okay with the prospect of not seeing any bloodshed I'm sure it'll find us. I don't know what my role is, so... Put me... Put me... <clears throat> I will, gladly. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And let me know if anyone else approaches you about another task that you should be doing, because otherwise, you are the first person I'm pulling. Cool. We will be constructing as a part of the right. I think... Your talents will be very valuable in that uh, area. <laughs> they also make a better door than a window. Correct. So if you need a door. Exactly. Which is where Troyan comes in. The... Yeah. Well, it doesn't really weaponize the doors. Troyan weaponize the doors, exactly. Be, yeah. Is there anyone else that um, Hannah mentioned should be present specifically for the ride, or are they off their game? I don't even know if she would. I think I'm only off the table because she needs someone just in case, you know? Okay. At this point, Zach's going to wander back with his soup. Mm -hmm. I love gazpacho. It's so cold. Hmm. You've you've had certain hot soups before. What? You've had hot soup before. Yes. Good. Just making sure. Food is food. Dante doesn't necessarily agree with that statement. 
I mean, it is, but... Glass walkers are so weird. What do you mean? Never mind. He just <laughs> starts, like, enjoying his soup properly. As he should. Brandon. He's gonna do some damage. Hey, he's on the list. I'm sure he knows the the bomb very, very well. I wouldn't mind Guy as well. It's gonna be up to you to decide. But it's a good point. <clears throat> you two can fight side by side. Zach, if... I'm assuming that... You'd like to be present for the ritual. I'm supposed to be there. Has anyone spoken to you particularly about responsibilities? I haven't even gotten a tribe yet. Okay. Um, unless somebody who outranks us has a different idea, I would really appreciate it if things start to go badly. If someone can get back to the bar and tell Shanks. You mean he can come? He's No, just let him know that his boss isn't coming back. I'll put my affairs in order just in case. I hope it doesn't come to that, obviously, but... No, 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 I'll, I'll do it. Thanks. For any of you. You let me know who you want me to see, and I'll see them. As an out-of-character question, would this be seen as dishonorable to abandon a right of Cairn building? Uh, I do don't think that. I don't think that. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think Troyan's intention is immediately drop everything. No, that's how I heard no, it. No, sorry, <laughs> no. What I'm what I'm trying to communicate, what she's trying to communicate. Yeah. Thanks for flagging. No, no, yeah. Is if the if it's lost, like uh -huh. if the right is lost and we're all dead. Okay. <laughs> and somebody needs to carry the news. So she thought she would give that responsibility. I, to I'm her. actually going to have you roll this. Yeah, because you're correct. But there's something else. Good point. I want you to roll me your intelligence occult. Oh, nope. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, yeah, five, six, seven. Okay. No, it would not be dishonorable. There is a certain amount of glory in like, we all, we all died in the service of trying to defend this Karen. In fact, back in the old days, in the old games, uh, one of the best ways to gain glory is dying in defense of a Karen. <laughs> nice. And nice. you could, you could posthumously regain honor. But let's say the Cairn is lost and all of you are dying. It is, in fact, honorable for one person to leave in order to tell other people what happened. And she figured he's a galliard, so this might be fitting. I like it. I like it. Um, something that I'm going to briefly worded it so terribly. No, 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 no. <laughs> something that I'm also going to pass along because of Macris. This is also something that Silent Striders are famous for doing. Macris clock that. It isn't saying mm. anything about it. Yeah. So I will let you clock this as well. You can benefit off this roll. Um, <laughs> that would be very a very Silent Strider thing to do. <coughs> you know, try speedrunning joining a tribe in the next week and a half? Speedrunning? Doing it quickly. <laughs> You have to talk to any present for that. <laughs> exactly. And um, Macris is pretty good at dealing with speedrunners. Uh, it goes for a... Your, your deed name. This one. Uh, that was clever. I'll take it. He'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll reach out, but only after he makes sure that Macris understands. Right, that's what we know what's going on here. Uh, for what it's worth. I was like, are you implying that I like punch people that run stop signs or something? Like, no. I would. I mean, but yeah, exactly. I was gonna say. Roll me your win site. Win site. Win site. I have a quantity. Ow. 
My dice are being nice, which means when it matters, it's gonna be bad. Uh oh. Eight. Uh, four successes, sorry. <laughs> eight successes <laughs> on five dice. The, God damn. I counted one, two, three, eight, because the last <laughs> die was an eight. It's, I guess that'd be possible if you rolled four zeros. Yes, yes but now four. Two, five. Um, he he's going strictly by your deed name and he has no knowledge of whether or not you've uh yeah uh engaged in any no hanky panky <laughs> you know the hottest term because <laughs> nothing says the apocalypse like 1950s you know slang for sure jargon <laughs> Okie dokie. <coughs> mm. Big fan. So the song Hanky Panky mm-hmm. oh. uh, it was 1966. Yeah, which includes cool. the lyrics My baby does the hanky panky. Yeah, my baby does the hanky panky. Okay. My baby does the hanky panky repeated twice. Then hey, my baby does the hanky panky. Then that repeated. Uh, yeah, a, a, a good portion of a good percentage of the lyrics of this song are yep. panky panky. Great. That was part of the craze where it was like all the songs were about inventing new dances, right? There was like, yeah. do the hang job, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I had my grease. Oh, right. <sighs> ah. Yeah, like, like who can get those classic fifty songs? Like, stick it. My uh, darling, <laughs> I want to hold your hand. Yeah. Rammy, dirty bastard. It was by the Beach Boys, wasn't it? Bon, and all of this sum go downstream. Mac has gone full French. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've just we've just told Zach go and and sing our song if we all fucking die. Yes, yes. great. Shanks, what about the two of you? <sighs> My sister. He gives like the barest of information about her. Janet. Yeah. She would want to know. Oh. What about Trace? He's somewhere safe right now. If you can find him and get word to him, yeah. We can find him eventually. And yeah. Get some information together for you. <laughs> Mysterious. Do you act, do you say that in character or not? Uh, no, no, yeah, let's go for it. Yes, in character, yeah. Oh, mysterious. Woe is me. I don't have anyone super close, so I can't just say, call my mom. Yeah, I mean. But I'm sure there are people, so. I know there are people. I mean, this is the assumption that you two are. And basically, everyone in all the group will know, so you don't need to tell them yourself. <laughs> And family. Side of Seven was very specific that none of us should uh, do any of that fatalistic shit where we try to greet death on our own terms or whatever. She was very adamant that we. Um... There's a. Hmm? There's a whole bunch of enemies out there to destroy, and we know where a lot of them are. There's I think mountain. I'm gonna choose to go down, doing some fucking home decoration <laughs> on the mountain. Excuse me. This is a very serious... It is very serious, but... Very serious, right. <laughs> Our hit list is very long. <laughs> yeah, and that's correct. Only the first item on it. Defensive bloodshed is nowhere near as fun as offensive bloodshed. Yeah, yeah. Here's... <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I knew that God. was Got him! <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, Beach Boy is not paying attention. Wait. 
Why did that come from RPG Planet? <laughs> Scott would be excellent at singing that song, I'll point out. He, he has would. sung that song. Yep. And not, yes. that, not that song. That I mean, specific maybe version it was of it. <laughs> maybe it was actually, maybe it was implied <laughs> in hindsight. God knows what I deal without your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Without your dick. <laughs> Shall I come in on bass for that one? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I need to call the other three guys. We gotta do the song again. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, anyway. <sighs> so, what do you have left? You're nothing. I don't think. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing else to do with Between now and the and the right. Uh, I'm gonna find Dusk and be like, hey, the kiddo that came and visited you. Are you going alone? Yeah. Ooh. I go alone. I go alone. I don't look at explosions. <laughs> this feels like as much as an act that I can tell people things. I also, like, she's yeah. been shamed, so, like, bringing us all there to, like, talk to her, it's just... Yeah. Dawson College is a big building. It is. And there are thousands of students who attend. I think by last count, eight or nine. Which means that you would think it would be difficult to find Dusk. So I'm going to ask you to roll your wits and either your survival or your awareness. Is this urban? Yes. Something lost or overlooked? No. She's not lost. Mm-hmm. And she's not overlooked. She's just. <laughs> We're deliberately hiding. not sleeping like, in the custodian's closet. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yes. She's much joined the charity squad. <laughs> much like Mavericks, she can turn into a broom. Just like leaning against the wall. Ah, <gasps> broom. Form of dust pan. Dust pan. <laughs> dust pan. <laughs> dust pan. Success. That's even better. <laughs> dust pan. <laughs> uh, you do find. By the way, are you bringing Zach with you, or are you going alone? I think I'd go alone because she's like, no, fuck off. Okay. <laughs> uh, you find, you find her, uh, sitting in a cafeteria, on the third floor, of the building. Um, it is a cafeteria with food which is not appetizing in any way, shape, or form. One step above worm tainted already. Yikes. Above worm tainted. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> She's nursing a coffee, sitting in the sitting at a, a corner. Thing is, adults aren't really supposed to be using this cafeteria they can and they do yeah but like this is a cafeteria for the students yeah. so she looks a little out of place but everyone's giving her a wide berth which means that when you approach there isn't anyone around to directly listen in hey what are you doing here you know that kid who sat by your bedside many a night while you were recovering? Zach. He's uh, thinking about becoming a traveler. So what? So, you're the local. Silent Striders don't do local, you know that. Well, I don't know who to ship him to, so... Figured you two had some amount of a relationship. And he's looking to join with Owl. Yes. And you still think that I'm the right choice? You want to convince me otherwise? I didn't say that. You made choices. You're facing the consequences. I think that's the right course of action. I haven't written you off forever. You still got some value to you, especially if you're willing to talk to him. Why is he choosing? 
Why now? We're making a big move soon. Big move? Has anyone visited you? Aside from me? No. The sunglasses lower just enough on her nose that you can see her eyes. What move? And it wants to rebuild. She would. Thoughts, feelings. As much as this might be a good idea, it's for her own glory. Yeah. Sight of seven might roll off the tongue, but sight of eight sounds even more impressive. Yeah, well. We all have our vices. You know that when these things happen, people die. That he wants to belong, lest he fall. Charisma persuasion. An interesting perspective. Yeah. You watch out for her. You want her to get to eight. <laughs> Weathered Storm deserves to become what it once was. And it might be a good idea, but she's in this also for herself. Which means that she might make a decision that might not bef benefit everyone else in the heat of the moment. And I say that as somebody who definitely knows what they're talking about. I don't trust anyone right now. So don't worry. You're trusting me right now. I'll have eyes where I need them. What about your pack? They have their plans and their priorities. You don't trust them? We have our plans and our priorities. Bring me the kid. I want him to understand what he's getting into. Is this a usual spot to find you? Just tell him to come here now. It doesn't take very long for him to get there. Close to the metro. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh shit. Wah, wah, oh shit. Oh, yes. that's that sack arriving now. Oh, that's so good. He arrives. Sits down next to you, Macros, not. Not dusk. Kid. This isn't the sort of thing that you choose really quickly, so you've been thinking about this a lot. And you talked to Macris here, and cuts to the quick would have told you if there was anything wrong. So I only have one question for you. Do you know when to shut up, and do what you're told, and do you know when to do what you think is right? Because Owl values wisdom. And Owl will not put up with somebody who makes decisions because someone else needs glory. Zach looks up at Macros for a second and then looks Dusk dead in the eyes. If Owl values wisdom, then I'll let Owl decide if I have the wisdom to join her. I will follow orders when a leader decides that they must be followed. But a leader who decides to give an order that cannot be, or that should not be, is no leader.
I have spent too long hearing all of the tales of this city. And do you know who I think actually has it right? The no moons always seem to have the right ideas. I can only take so much flattery. Dress stands up and heads off towards one of the lines for the cafeteria, letting them talk for a minute. You leave him here with me. He'll be gone for a day. Something happens, I'll find you wherever you go. Big ol' smile. Ding! One last thing. And these words are being chosen very deliberately. How is my sister? She's with good people. If she decides to take a moment not to look out for herself, someone else will. Thank you. Uh, and then she's going to uh, go up to a kid who's like counting their change and produce it to me. You drop this. Can you roll me a die of luck, one of you? Oh, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Ten. Oh, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Uh, um, I, uh, uh, you're holding up the light. If you didn't, there's no it. one else around, so it's yours. Thank you. You're holding up the line. <laughs> God, if somebody walked up to me with a toonie and just gave it to me when I was in Siege Up, I would have cried. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I next remember week it's renamed Macros College. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I at some point in CJ found a ten dollar bill and like everyone was walking around and whatever and it was like it was clear there was no one who had stop who was stopping looking right, for it. So it. I like picked it up and I was like, oh my god, I can eat all week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're eating dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. And Duel then, of the Fates starts playing. Fuck <laughs> <then> she... <laughs> off. Hmm. That's nice. That evening, Jennifer does not come to the bar. Mm -hmm. You are welcome to try to find her, but she does not approach. No. Dante? No, I was crying too much. I couldn't. No, the crying <laughs> comment really was quite off putting oh. for her. Uh, uh, um, I mean. Dante feels very connected to downstream right now and would stay there. Okay. And would be um he would be trying to spend like spend time slash the night with Apotheosis. I don't really know how to phrase that, sorry. Without making it sound like he's just trying to bone her. Correct. Uh, <laughs> that's not what this is about. <laughs> I just mean, spending time with her. Yeah. What? <clears throat> hey yo. Wow. Oh. We get to you in a second. Shonks is there at the bar, though. Shonks. Long day. Seems like you have a long day. A lot of long days. Yeah. What the hell is it that you do outside that it's so long? Uh, it involves a lot of conflicting personalities. And that's why you run a bar. Yeah. Is this, <coughs> I mean, bartending, running a bar, is that it for anything that you've thought of doing for yourself? Opening your own place? You're not firing me, are you? No, oh, fuck no. This place exists because of you right now. No, I think it exists because of you. Semantics. He... 
nods his head over, right? The images that you share to the bar show that it's actually pretty tiny. Yeah, it's pretty small. Like, Especially in the colder months where people can't sit on the terrace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like maximum occupancy comfortably is like 20, 25, yeah. maybe. Yeah, maybe 30. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you, th there's some liberties. You have, like, you have a dance floor, which the other place I don't think does. But, <laughs> um, but like, it's not, it's not like a big bar. No. But he... He indicates his his head over, and there's two. Um, they're not kids; they're legal drinking okay. age, but they're still pretty young. Yeah. And um, the uh, they they look like they're in a really deep conversation. Uh, they're both hunched over. They each have a glass, um, a pint glass, but they it's barely touched. So clearly, they've been served their drinks. But the condensation has rolled down, so they've had those drinks for a long time and they haven't been touching them. And they've been just speaking. You know I don't eavesdrop. Of course. He's having a hard time and she's seeing him through it. He's thinking that he has to move out because uh, he feels like his parents don't understand him. And she's been there, and she's trying to convince him to stay for just a little longer, save up just a bit more money, so that he isn't going to have any trouble when he gets out, right? Over there? Indicates uh, somebody whose head is craned up and is looking at the whatever's playing on the screen. Is there a screen? Yeah. For looking, hockey games. Yeah, looking up at that. Waiting for someone don't know if she's going to show up, but he's waiting. And this is the day that he's actually going to ask if she wants to join him for a drink. And then indicates one person at the end of the bar. And that person just got their heart broken. And this is where they choose to be because they don't want to be home alone. I don't know why but this bar attracts people who are decent. Sometimes it's people who need help. But for some reason, the people who come in here who need help tend to find it. That's you. Back in England, I was minding a bar for someone for the summer. And every day right after class, this student would come in the second we opened the doors at three and she would stay right up until closing. And the same thing, that that feeling of the untouched beverage over there. And I never knew what she wanted. But I knew that she felt safe here. There. This places for her. Balthazar's a character in one of her favorite Shakespeare plays. Where is she now? She's gone. Uh, he reaches under the under the bar and he pulls up a Two shot glasses, which he fills with water. Mm. Passes one over. To her, then. Not to be a giant downer. But if anything ever happened to me, for whatever reason, is this place something you would like to keep going? I'm doing that horribly tedious thing of writing a will as a business owner. And I'm just writing out plans. He looks up. That's that's not a conversation that you have just out of the blue. So all conversations. I'm start gonna ask you blue. two questions and then I'll answer you, okay? Okay. Are you in trouble? 
Are you in trouble? I'm not in trouble with anything you can help with. And I need you to believe me. I'm not alone. I have people I trust. Okay. And that's not to say I don't trust you because I'm not telling you. I trust you more than... Okay. It's really important you know that. If I take this place, it's not going to be for you. It'll be for her. Oh shit, Shonks. I need something stronger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, earlier today someone said they didn't have time for tears, but I'm finding a few minutes right now. Rough day then. A little bit. Uh is there a special bottle? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so he'll pull from that. Mm -hmm. Because if what you told me is true, and I have no reason to believe like it's not, this bar isn't yours. It's not just hers either. It's all of theirs. Then I'll take care of it. If you can't. Only as long as you want to, okay? I don't want you keeping it out of some sense of loyalty to me, okay? Keep it as long as it serves you. The ones who are gone makes no difference to them whether you sell their bar or not. <laughs> Loyalty's a funny thing. But I've never been loyal to somebody I regretted. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that they have a fresh drink. Dante? Shit. After everybody else has gone to bed, um, I should point out Packet Lost tends to be one of the last people to, yeah, to, turn, to, in. to turn in. <clears throat> it just seems to be habit for him. Uh, he does thank you for the gathering, and he makes sure that you know that like he appreciates what you're what you were doing. Um, he's sorry that he couldn't contribute to the daemon, but but then after he goes, Apotheosis just looks out at the um, the terminals for a second, seeing the progress bar. It looks kind of like an old school. Do you remember? Um, did you ever have to defragment your hard drive? Hell yeah! And watch as each of the blocks gets moved. It's it looks very similar to that. Mm. <coughs> I am. I am going to participate in the right alongside you. I'll have to do it their way. But I'm going to make sure that it... that it builds with a part of me in it. That's why we're all doing this. That we can all contribute to whatever this will be. This is usually the time knowing that a big battle is coming up. When I talk to everybody, this is where they're making their plans. Their plans for the day of the battle and their plans for what happens when the battle is inevitably lost. Mm. So when we win, when the cairn ascends, our enemies driven off or dying at our feet, and the howls of victory echo across the mountain even though we really shouldn't but we will but we will what are you gonna do i think i'll i imagine i'll be very tired but i imagine i'm also gonna feel invincible i'm gonna climb 
I find the highest thing that I can where I can see back into what was once weathered storm. I want you there with me. Okay. I'll be there. I promise. I'll write that down. Macris, where do you sleep that night? Her own apartment, probably. Okay. Um, it's about one in the morning. Would Macris be awake or asleep? Probably awake. There's a small thump at your window. When you open the window, um, I should tell you that this is not... Shit. Yeah. So this is not typical. It is not impossible, but it is not typical. <coughs> a snowy owl. So white feathered yeah. uh is brushing wings against the window pane. Yeah, so she lifts the window. And the snowy owl sits down on the windowsill. Just looks at you. Um, can lupus form communicate with other animals? No, wolves and guru. Yeah. yeah. If it's a spirit, you can communicate anyway. with it no matter what. Okay. I also have a dot of animal kin, if that helps. Oh, yeah. Why don't you roll me your uh, charisma animal kin? Two successes. Job. Yo, my rolls next session are gonna suck. <laughs> Nothing important. Laws average next session. Oh, <laughs> it's falling. Child of rat. I come in peace. I assume. So, not as owl and rat don't. Oh no, for sure. Famously, they don't get along that well. I, I wouldn't want to fight an owl. I guess it's my, like, my, like, I really wouldn't want to have to... Macris not actually turning into a rat in her guru <laughs> form isn't as bothered as perhaps an actual rat An actual be. rat might be, yeah. <laughs> like, they don't, they're not, like, mortal <laughs> enemies, but at the same time... It depends no. if you read the Redwall books. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good pull. Yeah. Deep cut. I accepted him. And he accepted me. Good. I hope he's a good fit. Why? Why did you choose? He was asking about your uh, kind. Maybe Red will be pissed, but I wanted to make sure he walked the path he was supposed to. Rat would never be angry with someone making such an honorable choice. You brought me someone in a time that I needed it. You've lost, I'm sure. You gain and lose every second of every day, but... This will not be won't. forgotten. I do not forget. The talon opens up and a little tiny coin falls onto the sill. It's a $2 coin. Oh shit. Hope you survive. I'm girl sad. <laughs> May we all. And the owl takes flight, does one circle around the room, brushes the very tips of her feathers against Macris's ear, and then out the window. 
Nyra fiddles with the back of the head of the polar bear, but she flips it. Trying to, she makes the penguins by covering up the body of the bear upside down. Uh, and she's trying to figure out a way if she can make it into an owl. No, just the T-Rex and the penguins. Nine days later, you'll find yourselves on the mountain. Next session, the rite begins. But for now, we'll end this session here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Yo, uh, we're going to build a cairn. We're going to build a cairn on a mountain. Or die trying. <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> Vote now. Who do you think should die in the next episode? How did you use three supplementary? Huh? How'd you use all that willpower? Me? Scott really likes to reroll. I love spending willpower. Are you kidding me? I think I rolled three times. <laughs> I spent willpower on all of them. And Kate and I never did. Yeah. <laughs> Because, because you're not as reckless. I think that first of all, that is true. Second of all, I think when you recover more of a resource in a session, like you, yeah, you feel like it's more disposable. And I'm yeah, just, for sure, I get it. I perhaps I genuinely hadn't needed to. That was no, no. I, was I just, just hope. John doesn't punish me. Too. <laughs> the thing is, one day, one day, someone's going to goad you. You will test for frenzy, and you will fail. It's one thing to, to remember is that if you have filled, if you're at, um, um, not, in, not incapacitated, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, fuck. What is the exact word for that? Uh, <laughs> impaired, impaired. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and there's a frenzy test. You'll lose. You can't win it. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's. A, a reason to consider yeah. not being quite so reckless. It's a good point. Weirdness also makes a good point. If I'm not constantly mentally exhausted, am I even really? Al- am I even alive? existing? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, speaking of being alive, Kate, what'd you learn today? Ooh, I was skipping straight to week ahead. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <coughs> learned a lot. Learned that 902 gave pie to folks and encourage them to find warmth. Yeah. Elizabeth? Mm. Uh, I I learned what Zach's uh, tribe is going to be. Mm. Is very exciting to see him finally find a good fit for himself. Yeah. Scott? I, I love that. Uh, I learned the, um, sort of uh, to tack on to Kate's point. Uh, that code 902 was apparently a bit of a mystery to everybody and like perhaps a little deliberately so <laughs> I did <laughs> I don't remember that either <laughs> yeah that's what I learned Kate you want to call out a player yeah I want to call out Liz doubleheader for navigating uh, Slade's orders because I I would imagine that uh preferred place wouldn't be hanging back. Yeah. It was really cool. Uh, and also just the Shonks chat. Shonks chat. Oh, Shonks and McGee. Yeah, it was really sweet. Thank you. Got uh, the um, gathering, the gathering of the departed. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, uh, not only did you come up with, with what to do and, and you said such beautiful things, but could also tell that you were playing all of Dante's complicated feelings towards Code 902. And I thought you did a really good job of honoring, like, he is gone, and he meant a great deal to a lot of people, and I'm also not sure what he meant to me. Mm. That was lovely. That was the point. There it is. Uh, and I want to call out Kate as Macris. Kate, I really liked the scene with uh, Dusk, aka uh, she, she, she who listens to her heart, listen to her heart. Yeah. Um, specifically, 
I just, I, I guess I was a bit surprised, but it was actually, it felt really appropriate to Dusk was kind of like not clapping back necessarily, but the idea of like, what, you don't trust your pack? And it's like, no, I trust my pack, but like, you know, I think, well, I wrote it down. Mm. I have my plans and priorities. We have our plans and priorities, and those are not necess or I interpreted okay. it as not necessarily exactly the same thing all the time. Mm -mm. It's Macris hedging her bets as a child of rat to be like, yes, I have a pack, but like, I do me all the time. Like that's, I'm I'm out there in the world doing the thing. It's just an interesting parallel with Code 902, mm. who in this episode was discussed as being a person who was like always kind of out doing his own thing. Oh, I don't know. I thought that was, I thought it was really, really, really nice. What's happening? What she really meant was, I don't trust anyone else. Oh, you're going to question my pack now. Okay, fine, fine. Like, I trust my fucking pack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> obviously, yes. Jeez, they're my oh, pack Oh, I was wondering reason. about that moment. <laughs> that I wasn't going to get into it. It was just like, <laughs> we have plans. A few moments left to vote in the moot point. <laughs> Who is going to die in the right? <laughs> Is it Dante's sense of humor, <laughs> Macris's pizza, Troyan style, or an NPC? I don't oh. <laughs> like your implication, Captain Spluey. Um, I don't like it, and I will allow it. Uh, yeah, John, it's already been called out. Uh, the scene with Shanks was like really oh quite beautiful, God. and yeah. uh, I don't know, just great job all around, everybody. But it was really beautiful to see him sort of step into the. This is a guy who. At least to our knowledge, doesn't know what's going on with us, but he's like, yep, I get it. You know, Come on, it's one of my games. Clearly, he's going to be like a demon. He's, he's a, he's well, a he's sidereal. Mummy! Actually, oh my yes, God. sidereal would be correct. He tells you. Wow. Chosen of drinks. Chosen <laughs> of drinks. <laughs> Chosen of great drink. So he's Bacchus. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, I see it. Uh, it would appear that the majority of people believe that an NPC will die in the right, but an equal number believe likely. that Dante's <laughs> sense of humor, Macris's pizza, and Troyan style might perish. Oh no! Oh, Troyan was at zero votes for. What the <laughs> hell? Who voted someone, for? Someone had to balance it out. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. As all things should be. Oh, As all should things be. should. Neater, neater, neater. Well, then I am <laughs> inclined to ask, what's Whoa. what's happening this week? Monday, tomorrow may or may not be another crossword stream. Stay tuned to the Discord. We'll see whether or not I feel like pulling myself <laughs> off the couch. You can be wrapped in a blanket. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yay. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, I stream on Tuesday evenings at 1800 Eastern. I, I, I still have the Crush House to finish on stream, but I'm, weirdly enough, I'm wondering how satisfying the ending of that might be. I'm getting a little jonesy for something a bit different anyway. I know it's almost spooky season, or I mean, it's almost October, but like, I've got Pentiment now, and I, I, it looks really fucking sick, and I like a good monk murder mystery with Father Padre Monte Cristo, or whatever his name is going to be. The Father Padre is going to make an appearance. And anyway, so you should tune in on Tuesday, because I'm not sure if it's going to be Crush House yet or not, uh, but that's me on Tuesday evening. Okay, so that takes us through Wednesday, oh, through yep. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday to uh, Friday. Friday. We are continuing with Cyber Punch. Uh, Punchy Ooh. is now incredibly powerful with her gorilla arms. It's <laughs> it's actually a little ludicrous. Hey, and j I don't know if you guys. Anyway, we bought an apartment. Like we were like, nice. guys, we're gonna do what we did in Starfield, but it took twenty minutes. Yeah, nice. like twenty hours. It, it, and it's not like the most hyped and least no, it, impressive. No. It was no. underhyped and overly yeah. impressive. Nice. Yeah, Toast oh, came amazing. in and said. I vote for this one, and and Toast has played the game before, and so we were like, great, and we went, and it's fucking awesome. Great. Um, great day. It's just hilarious. Like the the <laughs> the contrast between Starfield and Cyberpunk is is, is really funny. So we're continuing with that on Friday. Then on Saturday. Uh yeah, you can catch a stream from me. Uh, the Arkham Horror LCG continues at 11 a.m. Eastern on my channel. It's the bond. And Drew Crew, Nancy Drew, Secret of the old in the old lace. They're in Belgium now. They sure are. I think. They're back oh, yeah. in Belgium. Uh, and that's at 1500 Eastern. Sweet. Sunday, we'll be back here. Same time, same channel. For the right of Cairn building. Yeah. Begins. Oh. Ooh, which I like. Thanks again to Kung Fu Fenders and Erwin for just showing up here. Thanks again to everybody who shows up here, to be honest, whether you stay for five minutes or for the whole time. Uh, it's great. If you say something in chat, even better. If you say something on the Discord, even better. So, honestly, 
uh, if that's possible, please do so. Uh, but honestly, the thing is, the next session, this right is not to be missed. So I'm going to go this way to get there. Ugh. We'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, bye bye.